I have no good apart from you Apart from you As for the saints in the land They are the excellent ones In whom is all my delight After another God shall multiply Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out or take their names on my lips The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup Behold my lot the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places Indeed I have a beautiful inheritance Beautiful inheritance I bless the Lord Who gives me counsel In the night also my heart I welcome you for this seminar, three days of deliverance. This is the first day, hallelujah. And there are three more days to come. Friday, Sunday, until Sunday we want to pray, we want to worship, we want to have, uh, listen to sermons. So the th next three days will be very exciting. Uh, who knows already the topics, what we want to look at? What is today's topic? Witchcraft, somebody said in the audience. Hallelujah. It's the spirit of witchcraft today. And what's tomorrow's topic? Tomorrow's topic is uh, the spirits of the water. And on Sundays at 9.30 during the service, the third topic will be about the uh, spirit of man. Men. 
spirit of man. We want to hear about them. We want we get taught about it because it's spiritual topics. Spiritual topics what we really need. Because we know we are spirit beings. We are spirit beings and we have to confront ourselves with spiritual things. And we don't do it because of fear. No. We want to know. We want to really know what, how the enemy is working. We want to see and know and understand what we have to deal with. So these are spiritual topics and what kind we want to know what kind of meaning this has for us and what we can do against all those issues. And it is important that we are being schooled and trained in this area. And these spiritual topics are so important for us, for the church and where we are today. And henceforth we want to go into uh, a scripture, we want to open Acts 8 and read the verses 5 to 8. Acts 8, verse 5 to 8. Hallelujah. It is written, Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them, and many taken with pal palsies, and that were lame, were healed. And there was great joy in that city. Amen. It is a story like Acts is showing it in a beautiful way how the evangelist Philip came to Samaria and preached the gospel there with wonders and miracles, with power, with the strength of God. Hallelujah. And how the people heard the teaching and how they received healing and deliverance. Lame could walk again. People who were possessed with demons, they were freed. And these are all things that we want to experience in these three days today. These are all things that are important to us and that we want to experience also. And how much more I want to um, look at verse 8. In verse 8, it is written what happened because of this. What happened with the people, there was a great joy in this time when they experienced that, when they heard this, when they feel, uh, felt and saw all of these things, this great joy. And when we hear and see all these things, it should not be about our soul. It was not a, a, a joy from the soul or from emotions and feelings, no. We reject this because we're not um, Christians that walk in the soul, but we are spiritual. We walk and live in the spirit, and all our emotions and feelings, they must be led by the spirit. And in the same way, also this joy that was in that city, it must come from the spirit. This Holy Spirit must bring this joy and bring us in front of the uh, throne of God and influence our emotions and feelings. And in this way, I want to encourage you with this mindset to go into prayer with a, a pre-joy, a pre-joy to going into the seminar and to come in front of the Lord and thank the Lord and praise the Lord with this joy within us that is not coming out of our soul but out of the spirit, hallelujah. And that everything that is out of the soul, I want to encourage you also in this time of prayer, just to lay it down in front of the Lord and ask the Lord to take away these feelings and emotional things when we're here together, when we come in front of the throne of the Lord together, because it is written, the Lord is spirit, God is spirit, hallelujah. And we want to walk in the spirit. We want to see in the Spirit. We want to feel in the Spirit. We want to know in the Spirit. And want also want to be joyful in the Spirit. And in this way, we want to go into prayer and start praying. Hallelujah. And give all the honor to God. Hallelujah. So, 
I want to encourage you to stand up, use the whole room, use your mouth, use your voice, and proclaim loudly that the Lord is great, that God is wonderful, that the Lord is my joy. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. We thank you. You are the Almighty God and King, the Lord of hosts, the only one God, the mighty Father, the Almighty King, Jesus Christ. We want to praise, we want to exalt, we want to honor, we want to say thank you to. We want to say thank you because you are our King, you are our Creator, you are our Redeemer, you are our Savior, you are the Almighty God, Jesus Christ, Lord. We give you all the honor, we give you, give you all the honor, Lord, because you are the Lord of hosts, our God and King, our Almighty Father, our Almighty God, Jesus Christ, Lord. We give you all our praises, all our honor, all our thanks. Oh, Jesus Christ, we give it to you alone, to you alone, Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, our God, we thank you, our King, we thank you, Lord, our Creator, we thank you, Jesus, we thank you, the Almighty King, the Lord of hosts, you God and King, Lord, you Almighty Father, you Almighty Creator, Jesus Christ, Lord, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, our God and King, Lord our Creator, our Redeemer, our Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, our King. Thank you, Almighty Creator, Jesus Christ. You reign. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You reign in eternity. You, you reign, Lord, our King. You reign, our Almighty God, our Almighty King, the Lord of hosts, the Almighty Father, Jesus Christ. Oh, we praise you. We give you all honor. We give you all honor. We give you all praise. Because you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, we exalt your name. We exalt your name, Jesus Christ. Because there was no other name given to us but Jesus Christ alone. Lord, we exalt your name. We exalt your name. Our King, Jesus Christ. The Lord who reigns. The Lord who reigns. Oh, you reign in eternity. You are highly exalted. Our Redeemer, our Creator, all, um, you are the Almighty God, our King Jesus Christ. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Our God, our King, the, the Almighty Father. You are the Mighty Father, Jesus Christ. We give you the honor. We give you all honor. We praise you, Lord. We extol your name Lord we extol you Lord we praise you God hallelujah you are wonderful you are mighty you are great Lord hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus you alone are God. You alone are God. You alone are our King. You alone are the Almighty Father. You're the Almighty King Jesus. No one is like you. No one is like you. Oh, let your blood cover the atmosphere. Let your blood cleanse this place. Let your blood destroy any works of Satan. Let your blood, Father, the blood of Jesus in this place. The blood of Jesus in this place. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb shall cleanse and destroy any works of the devil. Oh, let us be cleansed, God, through the blood of the Lamb. Through the blood of the Lamb. Cleanse us, Lord. Cleanse our thoughts. Cleanse our feelings. Cleanse our thoughts, God. Cleanse our emotions, God. Thank you, Father. Cleanse us. Cleanse us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blood. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we proclaim in this place the blood of the Lamb. We proclaim in this place the blood of the Lamb. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, cleanse us, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord, through the blood of the Lamb. Cleanse our thoughts. Cleanse your people. Cleanse us, Lord. Cleanse everything in us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We proclaim victory through the blood. The victory through the blood. The victory through the blood. Oh, we have overcome because of the blood and of the voice of our, uh, of our testimony. In the name of Jesus. The blood of the Lamb makes us free. The blood of the Lamb destroys any, any attacks of the enemy. The blood of the Lamb in this place 
the blood of the Lamb in any area, the blood of the Lamb, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We thank you for your blood. We praise you for your blood. The blood of the Lamb, Lord. The blood of Jesus. 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 We thank you, Lord, that any attacks are being destroyed. Any blockages, any obstacles are destroyed. Any works of the devil are destroyed through the blood of the Lamb. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you, Lord. You have risen from the dead. You are reigning for eternity. Oh, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, for your, your blood, the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, my Creator. Oh, we thank you, my Redeemer. To you be all the honor. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the King of all kings. You are the Almighty Father. You are the eternal and faithful God. The Almighty Father, our King. Our King. Our King. Hallelujah. Lord, you reign in your church. You reign in this play in his country. You reign, hallelujah. You reign, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You reign in our soul. You reign, hallelujah. You reign in us. You reign in us. You reign in us, hallelujah. And we give everything to you. We give everything to you. We give everything to you. Our only one true God. We are your uh, property. We belong to you. We belong to you. We belong to you, Jesus. We belong to you, Jesus. You have redeemed us. You have set us free. We do not belong to ourselves. We do not belong to our family. We belong to you. We belong to you alone. We belong to you alone. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We give you all honor. Thank you, Father. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Father. We give you all the honor. You take control. Take the control. Take the leading, Lord. Take it, Lord, Father. You King of kings. You Lord of lords. The name and the God of all, above all gods. Hallelujah. You reign, God. You reign in every area. With your might. With your power. Hallelujah. Be in our midst. It is written. You are with us, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. You're here today. You are here today. You're omnipresent, Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. Honor to you. All honor to you. All honor to you. All praise to you, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You reign, Lord. You are sitting on a throne. You reign, Lord. You reign, Lord. You reign. You reign, God. You reign in my life. You reign to all eternity. In all eternity. For all eternity. You reign for all eternity. You're the king of all hosts. You're Alpha and Omega. You're the almighty, great God. And you reign to all eternity. For all eternity, Jesus. We exalt you for all eternity. We exalt you, Lord. We exalt you, Lord. Reign in us. Reign in us, our King. Our King. Jesus, the mighty God. Jesus, the mighty God. Jesus, the wonderful God. Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I want to give you another scripture that has spoken to me greatly, also for the seminar, for these three days that are ahead of us. And I want to encourage you, not just today, to be with us, 
no matter whether you're here um, in this place or online, wherever you are, so that you are with us every day, that you join every day to listen, to learn, to understand. And I want to give you a verse for that that has encouraged me greatly for this seminar. Let us read Psalm 119, verse 133. Psalm 119, in verse 133. Hallelujah. It is written, Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Order my steps in thy word, or make them steadfast in your word, is it in German, and let not anything have dominion over me, anything evil because we are called to reign and we will hear this this teaching and I'm excited for it we are called to have dominion ourselves to reign because God has given the p humans the authority to reign he has given you the strength to to reign over this world that we see today that is broken and a mess but the human took this authority and gave it to Satan, to the, the, the serpent, by falling into sin and rebelling against God. He turned against the will of God and against God. And today we're experiencing the consequences, just like we see it everywhere. The, the pain, the, the worries, the sorrows, all the catastrophes, these are all consequences that we're seeing from Genesis chapter 1 to 3, what, what happened there, especially chapter 3. And we're experiencing that, we're seeing that. But we want to go back to the origin. You want to see again that through Jesus Christ, through his cross, through his blood, through his sacrifice, he has paid the price for us so that he sacrificed himself what we should have deserved. And by that, bringing us back to the position like in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve were in the garden and were called to uh, walk in this uh, dominion, this reigning. And this identity, this knowledge and insight we need in our lives as Christians, all these things are fundamentally important that we go back into that position, that we're called to reign over, over pain, over worries, over needs, over all the evil. That on everything we're allowed to l learn in the seminar and that we're being shown the way in our steps, just like in this verse, they should be steadfast, which is the German translation. They should be, should be steady and walk in this authority, in this identity that we want to uh, receive again, that we want to practice. And this verse has encouraged me greatly. And I just want to take this into the seminary and to just... Uh, realize this, to go back into this authority and identity and having this in front of God and move forward with God and in this way reign over all evil. Hallelujah. And we want to use this time in praises and worship. We want to go in front of the Lord and I want to encourage you, yeah, just to be free, to just raise your voice and step like this in front of the Lord and let us just give praises to God together. Hallelujah. Yes, honor be to God. We're allowed to stand up together in worship. Our brother Maxim is here and he will help us um, with worship. Let us give him an applause that he is helping us today. Hallelujah. All honor be to God. Our God is wonderful. This is why we want to say, Lord, to you belongs my praises. Hallelujah. Jesus, dear God, 
today. You deserve all our praise. You deserve all our thanks. You deserve everything. We want to exalt you, Father. Lord, I thank you. I praise you, Father, that you're moving today in our midst, Father. I thank you, Lord. Lord, go through all the roads. Touch everyone here. Touch our hearts. Lord, we want to bring our hearts in front of you, Father. Lord, we want that you are allowed and able to move something in our midst. And we open our hearts wherever our thoughts are just uh, distracted. We come back. We come back in front of your throne. We come into your presence, Father. I thank you, Lord, that we can come in front of you with, yeah, frankly and just experience you. Hallelujah. You are here moving in the midst. I worship you. I worship you. Worship you. I worship you. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You
Yes, let us give a huge applause to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you that you're here today. Thank you that you're working in our midst. Thank you, Father. We want to believe that we will see your glory, Father. Thank you.
that you're here Lord thank you that we are allowed to experience your presence thank you that we are that we can frankly come in front of the throne of grace Father thank you for this time the special time that we are allowed to experience Father thank you for the time of grace thank you for the time of, of coming Thank you for this time that you have chosen. You have chosen us for this time so that we could reveal your name to the world, so that we could show the world that you are God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Holy Spirit. Thank you that you're here. Thank you that you're here. Thank you that you're here. Thank you that you are here. Thank you that you are here. Thank you that you are here, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you that you are here. Thank you that you are here. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you that you are here. Hallelujah. Thank you that you are here. Can you? Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, take control in the atmosphere, take over control in everything, Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Let us pray together in the spirit. Heaven is open, heaven is open, heaven is open, heaven is open. Let it rain, 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 Lord, let it rain, Father, 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 let it rain, Father. Oh, Dante, 
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. Rain is coming. 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 The rain of the Lord is coming. I will give you the early and late rain. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are our math, our, our helper. You're the Lord in our midst. You're the power of God. You're the fire that came from heaven. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your works in our midst. The heaven is open over this nation. The heaven is open. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honor be to the Lord. Honor to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Honor to the Lord. Honor to the Lord. I'll honor to the Lord. I'll honor to the Lord. Honor to our Master. Hallelujah. Declare the heaven open over Germany. Declare the heaven open over this nation. Declare the heaven open. Hallelujah. 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 Say, Lord, I want to experience you. Say, Lord, I want to experience you in every area of my life, in every area of my family, in every area of my future, in every area of my destiny. I want to experience you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your works in our midst. Lord, wherever, where else? Lord, where else?
Do you know this song? Hair it, where else should we go? Do you know this? Are you sure? Do you know this song? Lord, where else should we go? Who can sing it? Hallelujah. Who wants to sing it? Raise your hands. Say, Lord, where else? Lord, where else? Lord, where else should we go? Where in the world would we find luck? No one or human can us give as much as you do. You bring us back to life, just you. Just you give us lack of love. Again. Lord, where else should we be going? Where in the world would we find luck? No one, no human can us give as much as you do you bring us back to true life just you just you give us happiness amen amen give an applause to the lord give an applause to the lord give an applause to the lord Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord, my soul. My soul, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul, my soul, praise the Lord. Never forget what he did, great things for you. And do not forget what great things he did for you. Praise the Lord, my soul, my soul, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul, my soul, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul, my soul, praise the Lord. Amen. You can sit down, amen. Hallelujah. You can sit down. We thank the Lord for this first day. Amen. I'm so happy to see all of you here. Amen. I'm so happy to experience this day. You know, I'm not a great day, a, a, a big fan of just holidays. So um, it is wonderful that we have a seminar today, that we're starting today. Normally, I planned that we have in the morning and in the evening, Friday morning and evening, Saturday morning and evening and Sunday. So five um, times. Yes. But the problem is just like, you know, people also want to have time with the family, amen? So I gave it to you. Uh, yeah. Amen. God is good. But I want to um, do my best to speak about this topic so that we can take something home. It is a very broad topic. This topic, witchcraft, when we speak about this topic, we can speak about this one or two whole weeks to, to just cover up this topic. So it is a very great uh, big topic. And in the first, the first line, 
online, we will just go through this topic and see what is witchcraft. When you speak about witchcraft, people are fearing all the time, uh, right away, but do not panic. It is very important that we speak about this topic in church because we are in the era, in the time where witchcraft has grown in the world, but not just in the world. Sadly, we're in the time of the infiltration of the church. The church is highly infiltrated. A short time ago, we were in an Ivory Coast with 13 people, and we served in about six churches, and we realized that when such topics are not addressed, like the Bible says, my uh, people die because of a lack of knowledge. And when you speak about witchcraft in a church, first of all, we have the witchcraft that is um, in two areas. It is moving in, in the ministries itself. There are many ministries that have to do with witchcraft. Many anointed are men and women of God that are in ministry, but when you look deeply into it, there is so much about witchcraft. When you speak about witchcraft, there are two types of witchcraft. In the flesh and witchcraft in the spirit. Amen. But one of the worst that you experience and or see in church today is the uh, witchcraft in the flesh. When you speak about witchcraft in spirit, you uh, speak about going astral. We read about sucking blood, about rituals, about um, spiritual murder. But when you speak about uh, witchcraft in the flesh, you speak about certain um, attributes of the of human that have to do with witchcraft. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready? So, when you speak about witchcraft in the ministries, you can instantly speak about um, controlling, manipulation, um, having and keeping power, like, uh, and like controlling all the sheep so that the sheep cannot say anything. So, for example, you think that women have nothing to do, nothing to say in a church. This is witchcraft. That women are not allowed to say anything is not according to what the Bible tells us. In the world, we have many, uh, a lot to do with witchcraft. About 99% of the people in the world have something to do with witchcraft. Because when you speak about witchcraft, like we said, you have to do with with uh, having control and keeping the might, manipulation, control, and, and uh, luring other people in. And tomorrow we will speak about a different topic, about uh, mermaids, and the spirit of mermaids, and of the marines. Tomorrow we will speak about this topic, and on Sunday we will speak about human spirits. These are names that are new or that are not to grab, grasp so far. Um, but I think in the end we will have a lot of knowledge. Remember, the Bible says, my people will die because of lack of knowledge. My people dies because of the lack of knowledge. In the church, how, how is the witchcraft uh, moving in church? I give you a short summary and then we uh, go into the topic. So in church we have um, witchcraft through rebellion that is spread vastly in the church or humanism. This is also a lot in churches where many say, yes, God is God is love. God loves everyone. God cannot throw anyone to the hell. Everyone will be saved to just uh, call the name of Jesus. Saved once, saved always. Such things have all have a lot to do with witchcraft or pride and haughtiness in ministry. They also have to do with uh, witchcraft. And to fight against such things, we need to be um, yeah, prepared for this. And the weapons we have, last time we said there are three things that are giving testimony on the earth, the blood, the spirit, and the blood, the spirit, and the water. Blood, spirit, and water. This means the fire... Uh, the blood and the word are giving testimony on earth. And these tools, these attributes, these these works that God has given to us, the name of Jesus, the whole um, ministry, we need to use all things to go into uh, fighting 
uh, the whole equipment. And every tr uh, Christian is involved into this spiritual battle. We cannot ignore it anymore. For a long time, we have ignored it. And in church, we have many different murders, um, sicknesses, depression, divorces, and so on. This is uh, for a great part of um, the work of witchcraft in the background. When we ignore the works of Satan and say, oh, because I'm a Christian, nothing can happen to me. I'm a Christian and I'm forever safe no matter what I do. This is the lie of the enemy that has infiltrated the church. From the moment you are converted, you're in a battle and to win this battle you need the word of God you need the blood of the lamb you need the full equipment of the spirit you need the gifts, the church needs the gifts of the spirit again we were in the Ivory Coast in five churches I asked who has already used gifts, almost no one has risen their hands and I asked the question here who has prophesied here Okay. Who is born again? Okay. Who is filled with the Spirit? Uh, in the, baptized in the Spirit? Who is filled with the Spirit? Yes. Yeah, you're wondering. You can be baptized in the Spirit but not filled with the Spirit. Who is walking in the Spirit? Hallelujah. But who is prophesying? Who is prophesying? <laughs> when I say who has prophesied, everyone can say, but who is prophesying? But why are you not prophesying? When you speak about prophesying, you speak about giving prophetic words, prophetic pictures, prophetic singing. You can prophesy through different ways prophetic uh, insights, but it's not normal that in the, um, in the kingdom of God and in the church of God, so few people have to do with prophesying. It's not normal that in the church of God, you're not using the gift of uh, discerning spirits. And it's not normal that in the church, you're not finding any um, interpretation of tongues. It is not normal that in a church, you cannot find <coughs> the gift of healing and the gift of miracles. When these gifts are missing, no matter how we're uh, praying in tongues, we will be really fast uh, on the wrong way. These gifts are important. God did not give the gifts to the church for no reason. These gifts will help at the end of the time a certain moment where the Spirit of the Lord is, there are also the gifts. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there are also the fruit of the Lord. Where the Spirit of God is, the fivefold ministry. We cannot say or claim to be a, a Pentecostal church in Germany, but you cannot find any apostles, any teachers, any prophets. You, no, that's not a, pro, uh, a prophet, um, Pentecostal church. So it cannot be true that two out of 100 people are prophesying. This, that's not good. All people can prophesy. This is the word of God. That's why the Holy Spirit wants the true reformation in the church again in Germany. It's not normal. And when you see this, you are asking yourself, how was the church a hundred years ago? Probably the, the movement of the Spirit was there in Germany. And the, the awakening, the wondrous miracles, they, they're speaking about the, the awakening of Solingen and others. But what happened in the meantime? The works of witchcraft have infiltrated the church. From the moment the works of witchcraft are entering into the church and the true men of God, uh, the servants of God and sons and daughters of God are not seeing this and uh, understanding this and not going against it, what happens is the church, uh, the, the fire of the church will slowly go down. The, the goal of the witchcraft is to um, put out the fire of your life of your um, marriage, of your
your church, of your ministry. How is she doing? It? Sicknesses, tiredness, divorces, separations. You cannot read the word anymore. You're uh, lame in prayer, you're, uh, lame in your spiritual life. Whenever you see, or perilous, whenever you see you're not allowed to, or not able to go into prayer to the word anymore, it is something spiritual is moving in you. Your life is infiltrated. And believe me, when those spirits of witchcraft are attacking you, they're not telling you that you're attacking. You will think, no, this is these are my thoughts. I'm sick. I need to go to the doctor. I have, my my foot is broken. I need to go to the doctor. Yes, we we have to and should go to the doctor. But before and I say, Lord, what happened? I was healthy. My wife was healthy. The family was healthy. The church was healthy. Why all of a sudden 10, 20 people are severely sick? What happened? When you do not ask the right questions, in Matthew 7, verse 7, pray and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. When you do not do this, no matter how long you're a Christian, you will not receive, not see, not enter, nothing. This is the word. Seek. You will find. Knock. It will be opened. Amen? Yes. When you're not seeking, do you think that you're so beautiful the Lord will give you everything? No. You should seek. He himself, God says, I, I will be found. I will be found. He said, I'm a God who's hiding. God is hiding himself. And he's, he, he lets himself be, to be found by those who are willing to seek for him. Those who are willing to experience him. Those who are willing to have community with him. But if you're not thriving for this, if you're not seeking to this, you have more um, community with your television, with your family, with your friends, and you expect that God will reveal himself to you? No. You can wait a long time. You will not receive anything from God. Then you come to the church frustrated. Yes, why are all of them all of them seeing and experiencing but not me? Yes, what are you doing with their time? I've told you there are times in my life where I did not sleep in the night. I mean, really, almost not slept. You can ask my children. They come to the uh, living room 2 o'clock a.m. or 3 o'clock a.m. I'm in prayer. 4 o'clock a.m. I'm in prayer. I'm seeking for him. I'm, I'm, I'm just seeking, trying to cling to him. I know when I start now, I study, I pray at one point. He starts speaking. Heaven starts going open. We are on earth. We must understand. There are three heavens. There's the first, the visible sky. There's the second heaven and the, and the third heaven. When Daniel prayed, did he receive the, the, the solution directly? What happened? The angel that came to give Daniel the, the um, peril, what happened? He was captivated. Who blocked him? Who, who captivated him? The, the princes of the second heaven. Amen? When Daniel said, yes, I've prayed for two days, I stopped praying. Would he have received the answer? No. He... he prayed and fasted for 21 days really without without stopping he prayed intensively intensively he did not pray Lord I need a new car Lord I need a house Lord my shoes are broken Lord um, I need a new garden Lord I need a, a new uh, Tires. No, these are <laughs> these are prayers today. Lord, give me tires for winter. Lord, give me uh, new other things for the car. Lord, give me new car. No, Daniel prayed. Lord, I want to see Israel in their glory. I want to see that we're coming out of the captivity. Daniel did not pray for himself. He prayed for his nation. When you have businesses in Germany or Mannheim and you want to um, be successful, do not say, Lord, give me partners. Say, Lord, give me Germany. Give me Germany. Amen. Because when you pray, give me Germany, what is in Germany? Every um, uh, business is in Germany. What is in Germany? All the treasures of Germany. What is in Germany? All the souls. You will go somewhere 
uh, a businessman is going there. He's the next partner of your life, uh, business partner. You bring him to convert. You don't know that he's a great uh, businessman. He's not coming to church. He does not tell you. He's praying, he's praying. And at one point, you're uh, signing the greatest contract of your life. You say, said, Lord, give me Germany. Not give me a few or uh, some. Give me Germany. Amen. We open our Bible in 1 Samuel 15, verse 22. It is one of the most dangerous witchcraft that we experience in the church today. And Samuel said, Had the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee from being king. Why did Saul was Saul, Saul thrown out of the kingdom because he has heard the word of God? Was Saul obedient to God? He was obedient. Huh? He was obedient. Did he go into uh, war? Like God told him? He went into war. Did he win the war? Yes. Did he took all the sheep and were with him? But what did he give to God? What did he give to God? Huh? Banned animals. Sick animals. That is the first thing. Secondly, Samuel said to Saul, wait. I will come after seven days. Did he wait? He wait to the seventh day. Okay. Christians who are like, yes, he, he did wait. Yeah. There are such Christians, yes, he did wait. God was too strict. He waited at least seven days. Just for the last day, he did not wait. God could have been gracious. But God does not want to have half obedience. God does not want to have 99% obedience. God wants to have 100% obedience. That's what this was the problem of Saul. He was partly obedient, but he was not 100% obedient with God. And he came to Saul. And Saul told him, What you did. Being disobedient is worse than witchcraft. Rebellion is the root of witchcraft. Rebellion is the root of witchcraft. Let us look into the Garden of Eden. Satan comes to Eve. What was the goal? To bring Eve to the same height as God because he says, God knows from the moment you eat from it, you will be equal to God. Was it a lie? Was it a lie? It was the truth. You'll be uh, equal to God. What did God say when you uh, when He comes? The human became equal to us, but in which direction? In the knowledge of evil and good. What did God want? That the human does not move into evil, but into the goodness. But from the moment the eyes were open with the knowledge of the good and evil, Satan says. The, the the moment you um, eat from it, your eyes will be open. Which eyes? Were they blind? The spiritual eyes. Were they blind? No, they were not. All of the sudden they uh, they understand we are naked. All of the sudden they see we have no clothes. What clothes? About which clothes is it is? So that Adam and Eve all of a sudden have no clothes anymore. The glory has left them. The glory of God was gone. The, the covering of God was not there anymore. All of a the sudden, they were uh, naked. The light was not there. The anointing was not there anymore. The power was not there anymore. God comes 
God is looking in you, his own character. What are the characteristics that God has placed into Adam and Eve? The reigning, the, the multiplying, the, the fruitfulness, and so on. God is coming, and he sees they're dried up. They are without life. They are without glory. <coughs> God has created them after his own glory and image. But what is he, is he seeing? The glory and the image of Satan. God is looking. He's not seeing his own image, his own um, similarity, but the similarity and picture uh, of Satan and Adam and Eve. This is what it was. This is why he's seeking for Adam and Eve. They're not there anymore. They're not in the position where they should have been. They were in the position of witchcraft. Their eyes were open to occultism. This was the beginning of esoteric. This was the beginning of occultism. It was the beginning of satanism. It was the beginning of pandal. The beginning of uh, seers. Through this sin, everything entered into the creation of God. Satan, the ruler, the boss of all the satanists people, of the witchcraft, of all occultism, the boss of everything. He's reigning over the world. This is why Jesus says, the prince of the world is coming, but there's nothing of him in me. His pride is not in me. His haughtiness is not in me. His, his, all this, his gossip is not in me, or his lies are not in me. His, his haughtiness is not in me. His dirty sins and works are not in me. This is why he cannot can, uh, he cannot blame me. There's nothing, there's no similarity between Satan and my life. This is what Jesus Christ says. And then the same way, Jesus went to the cross that from the moment you believe in Jesus, there is no similarity anymore between your life and the life of Satan. Because when you do not look like God, you look like Satan. When you're not after the image and similarity of God and moving with this, you're automatically moving with the similarity and picture of Satan. This is what Satan wanted. He searched for people who could worship him. And how do you worship Satan? Through sin. Satan is eating uncrucified flesh. When your flesh is not uh, crucified, this is the nourishment of Satan. You're uncrucified um, doing things, things, your businesses, thinking, moving. All of this is what Satan needs. This is why he is able to bring you evil thoughts, how to, to uh, infiltrate your behavior, your um, emotions, your speak. Why? Because you're giving him the room. Matthew 21. Verse uh, 33. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hatched it round about and digged a winepress in it and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandman that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandman took his servants and beat one and killed another and stoned another. Again, he sent other servants, more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all, he sent unto them his son, saying, they were reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let, let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him and cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. When the Lord, therefore, of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits of in their season. Jesus said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is what the Lord this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in your eyes. 
in our eyes. Therefore, I say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And we read Galatians 5.19. Um, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murder, drunkenness, re revelings, and such like. Of, uh, of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The teaching of a about the witchcraft is one of the most neglected teaching uh, among Christians. And there is so much lack of, or uh, just uh, superficial um, knowledge about this. And when you speak about spiritual witchcraft, one great thing that the witchcraft did, first thing is that they are being ignored in churches. So, you do barely know anything about them. And the second is, they were able to multiply themselves in, an, in a way that everything seems normal. And when you're in the world, for example, I, I take the word for example, show me one person, one singer, just one in the world, who is not doing any witchcraft. Tell me just one singer. Nowadays, tell me, one politician who is not involved in witchcraft. There are so, 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 so rare politicians. Uh, even the media is doing witchcraft. I can prove it to you that the media, whether it's Set One or RTL or Setia, all those medias, most of them, do witchcraft. Why? Are they giving you information that can nourish you? No. Are they giving you the truth? No. Everything is from beginning manipulated. Why? Because there was there is a clan of people that are very rich, that are very cold. There are uh, free work, Freemasons or Illumination, in the Illuminati. They buy all the media so that they bring the people to think the way they want. You're not thinking the way you want, but they bring you to think the way they want. This is the goal. The one who's giving you your, uh, your thoughts is controlling you. Yes. The one who is giving you his thoughts. So this is why when you're at home, all of a sudden you think, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm always sick. I'm an idiot. I cannot do anything in my life. My life is miserable. You think like the enemy wants you to think. You do not think the way God wants you to think. This is why Paul says in Romans 12 that we should not adapt to this world in this time. The people of the world, when they fall and miss something, oh, I was, uh, I was dumb. I knew that I would did not, uh, couldn't pass it, and I'm an idiot. This is how the people of the world think. You come out of uh, 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 an interview, and they don't take you, or you're being thrown out of the job. Oh, I'm going to kill myself or something. No, I'm not going to kill myself because I lost a job. I do not kill myself because... Uh, I don't have a, a sense of life anymore. Jesus is the sense of my life. I can lose a thousand jobs, but find a thousand. I remember I lost my job. My wife uh, was um, pregnant with my our second daughter. Two weeks to the, uh, the birth, there was a great crisis, and then I lost my job. Normally, when you would have seen everything, I would shouldn't have le uh, lost the job. I was the boss. I was uh, the one in control over all French nations. There was none who could just uh, take my place. But the Lord came and said, no, uh, I don't want to have you anymore. I was like, okay, how should uh, I tell my wife? She's pregnant. She's she's receiving in two weeks. She's receiving her baby. I come home. Uh, I tell my wife and my wife stands up and says, oh, praise be the name of the Lord. I said, what? Uh, darling, did you drink? No. Uh, did you take anything? No. I said, I, did you listen to what I said? Yes. What did I say? You have lost your job. And how did you answer? Honor be to God. I said, okay. 
My dad is not coming. My death is not coming from mine. This is my death. My my wife said, oh, "Glory be to God." And I did not understand because you do not understand. You think, ah, oh, any month where should I get? Uh, should I go to the job center? Uh, Uncle Job Center, uh, please, my money. Do you have this paper? Do you have this? That, that's, there's something missing. Oh, you go home, you come back. No, there is still something missing. Until you, uh, until you received the money, you were 10 times for your with Uncle Job Center. But one year and eight months, God has brought me into a school. A wonderful school. A school of fasting, of prayer. I was allowed to go and move with a man of God Europe-wide. I was the, the driver of all those pastors, but in the car I learned so much. I learned so much. I had barely time back home. My pastor, she should go for groceries. I go with him while shopping. How is it written? In the Bible I read, he's speaking, he's speaking. Oh, last, lately I prayed, I heard this. He's telling me, in this way I learned to grow with the Lord. Amen. Everything works together for our best. This is what we we need to know all the time as children of God everything will always work together as our for our best hallelujah witchcraft and sorcery is nothing new it is something that has been operating for generations we know in Europe earlier they burned a lot of witches they captivated and, and burned them they heard about it they have um, haunted those witches and burnt them but those people who burnt the witches did not know that witchcraft is flowing in the blood so first thing witchcraft is something spiritual witchcraft has to do with spirits those are spirits that come into people to control the people and to control cities and villages there are many villages in Germany where people have um, consciously to do with witchcraft there are many people here who out of the bloodline have to do with witchcraft. Why am I saying that witchcraft is going through the bloodline? I take an um, example. The grandpa was a great hunter who had to do with sorcery and witchcraft. The father who came out of, out of his uh, grandfather, out of your grandfather, through the seed, he will receive the seed of witchcraft. You see, uh, you speak about inherited uh, sicknesses. Do you think when there are inherited um, sicknesses, don't you think that there are also inherited spirits? Most of the inherited sicknesses come out of a bond, out of uh, witchcraft, sorcery, and, and curses. There are families where curses are being inherited. You see that the grandfather was very uh, wrathful, the, the son also, and the grandson also. The, the grandfather uh, uh, broke the marriage, the son did also. Because when the spirit enters into one person, he goes through the whole line. Matthew 12, he, what he says, uh, I come back to the house where I left. Other uh, translations say, I will go back to my line because demons are following a program. They're not just coming to stay in you, but they want to go into you, into your descendants, so that none of your family will have to do with Jesus. This is the goal that none has to do with Jesus. And you will see the difference between human spirit and demon is that demons, when they're in you, the goal of the demon is to bring you to at some point um, deny Jesus. This is the goal. Whether a demon of pornography or demon of masturbation or demon of lying or demon of all demons the goal is that at one point you will deny Jesus and they have so much time they, they, they let themselves have time they have no hurry when they're in your life and they're hiding in a way that you never that you're never able to see that you're under a demon I have a question often when you have wrong and evil thoughts what are you thinking? You think, I'm thinking wrong, right? You think that they are your thoughts. I'm not saying, I'm not saying you, no, but someone who is born again, who has the Holy Spirit, cannot think evil about his wife, cannot think evil about his husband, cannot gossip against his family. 
someone who has the Holy Spirit, no matter how evil you are to me, I will never uh, give you evil words back. Never. You live with a woman at home, with a man at home, but the words that are coming out of your mouth, the words are worse than hitting and beatings. Someone who has the Holy Spirit cannot have uh, suicidal thoughts. Because the Spirit of God, the Bible says it's the Spirit of, of uh, so being soft, of, of peace, of love. And when you always in your life have uh, no peace, when you never have peace, you have a Spirit that is in you and, and bringing you no peace. When you all of the sudden or all the time have bitterness and you're not able to forgive, there is spirit of bitterness. When you're all the time in, in wrath and in anger and bad uh, mood, you have the Holy Spirit always in a bad mood. What did Paul say? Be happy all the time. A child of God who is always in a bad mood? No. This is not from God, this mood. It is from the evil. Satan will always push you to have bad mood, to have bad thoughts, to have bad speech. Why? Through your bad thoughts, through your bad uh, mindset, through your miserable mood, he can control you. Goal is the control of your soul, the control of your life, so that you take uh, the wrong, uh, make the wrong choices and move the wrong way. So that from the moment you're in the false mood, you can start praying. When you have no partner, you're saying, "Hey, let us sing, Evangelion." <laughs> then you cannot get out of this. Ezekiel eight, verse seven to twelve. And he brought me to the door of the court. We look what the Bible tells us here about the works of witchcraft. And when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then he said unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold, the wicked abominations that they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things, and abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. <coughs> And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jasaniah, the son of Shaphan, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chamber of his imagery for they say the Lord sees us not the Lord hath forsaken the earth or in German this land this passage reveals an early manifestation of witchcraft in the holy scripture in the place where how you say this uh, the tabernacle was the ark of covenant was in the temple of God what did they do they burned incense, but they did not burn for God. What did they burn for? For evil demons. The priests, 70 priests in the temple of God. What did they do? They're burning incense. Everyone in his own chamber, they're doing evil. They're doing witchcraft. They do Kabbalah. They do all that is evil. And they say, God is not seeing us. This is one of the special things of witchcraft. God is not seeing my. I do sin in the church I come and serve God is not seeing me I'm envying against my brother no one is seeing me I'm this and this no one is seeing me yes in the temple of God they did this but the question is when they did that was the glory of God there yes <laughs> the glory of God was there and when they say God cannot be somewhere where demons are this is a lie 
This is a lie. God cannot. The Holy Spirit is in the world. And the, the world is filled with demons. Holy Spirit is in us. But when deliverance happens, demons come out of us. Yes. Why do demons come out of us? Because there are areas of your life where Satan still has control. Because when you were a child, you were uh, anointed uh, to uh, Mother Mary, or you were brought to the Voodoo priest, or as a baby, you, your grandma did pandle in front of you, or as a, as a child, your grandpa uh, read the cards for you and told you your future, because as a, when you were a child, you took in voodoo uh, medicaments or you were married with a with uh, a sorcerer or you were uh, married spiritually who was a cult and he gave you his seats the works of witchcraft are so present more present than we think we read Nahum 3 so we read the word um, so that you can, no one can say where is it in the word. So we saw the 70 priests and, and the temple, they had demonic images, but believe me, these are not just images. Israel was so deeply involved into witchcraft, so deeply involved in Satanism, they even um, sacrificed children. Do you know this? They sacrificed children, they took children, they wanted to do it like other nations. They... Moloch, they sacrificed children to Moloch. They sacrificed children to Moloch by burning children. Today it is very modern. Do you know how modern, modern Moloch is? Um, abortion. Abortion is a sacrifice of children. You're sacrificing children to a god. This is why all nations want to legalize this. They know why. The people who are behind these laws, they know why. They are in the uh, calling of Satan, in the task of Satan. Believe me, our government is not um, uh, for us anymore, but they're for the program, and this program was given by Satan. Because Satan is preparing the new world order. This means the new, well, new world order. Satan is preparing the new world order. Why? Jesus is coming back soon, right? Right? The Antichrist is coming soon, right? Yeah. Just like Antich Jesus is coming soon, Antichrist is coming also. Who is preparing the coming back of Jesus in the church? The Holy Spirit. He's preparing us so that we're cleansed. Through His fire, He's preparing us. Who is preparing the world or, or the Christians also for the coming back of the Antichrist? The spirit of the Antichrist, the false prophet, is the spirit of the Antichrist. This is why Satan knows the world I have under control, but there is one I need to control at, uh, uh, the most: is the church, because Satan knows the church is very powerful. The church is you. You are mighty in front of Satan, but that you're not using your power, Satan needs to infiltrate you. He needs to give you his thoughts. He needs to bring you to lose your, or, or don't know about your uh, true identity. Uh, many Christians have problems with their true identity. Depression, for example, is a problem of identity. Satan brings you to think that you're not worthy, that you're not able to do something, no one loves you, no one likes you, no one, no one, no one. Not everyone needs to love me. Not everyone needs to like me. As long as God loves me, that's enough. You're not coming to church expecting that everyone will love you. There's always someone who will go into your nerves. But he is annoying you so that your pride will be broken. There always has to be someone who is annoying you. When I see this sister, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the sister is there so that you are being humiliated. Say, thank you, Lord, for my sister. Thank you, Lord, for my brother. He's annoying me, but he's there to test my uh, patience. Thank you for my wife. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 
We love your wives. Hallelujah. We love you. But we thank you, the Lord, for the wives. Because if the wives wouldn't be there, I don't know what would have happened with the men. <laughs> we thank you for the women. Hallelujah. Nahum 3, 1 to 4. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. The, the noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the pr prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. There is a multitude of slain and a great number of carcasses, and there is no, none end of their corpses. They stumble upon their corpses. Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through their whoredoms and families through their witchcrafts. What did they do? With whoredoms, they sell the nations and with witchcraft in the midst of Israel. They did witchcraft and whoredoms and sorcery. And believe me, with magical powers, salsa, uh, powers, witchcraft powers. As Rachel came out of the house of uh, her father, what did she took with her? The idols. This is what Israel had to fight with idols all the time. Why? Because the mother carried it. She did not carry it visible only. Satan sometimes needs um, items, but uh, when, um, when you have these items in your hand, you have it in yourself also. And Rachel did not, Rachel did not just carry them in the hand, but she had it in her, herself and she gave it to her sons. And Israel always had to fight with idols. Always they had to fight with sorcery. They had always had to fight with witchcraft. It's nothing new. When Israel had this, we, the church, we have to fight with it too. The praxis of witchcraft has brought a, or has caused a lot of blood in the midst of Israel. Blood was um, poured out, and wherever witchcraft is, they ha it has to do with witchcraft. When you speak about blood, you speak about souls. The goal of witchcraft is to to pour out blood because Satan needs a lot of blood in his database. Satan has blood. A, in a blood database and he needs the souls the more people die without Jesus the better it is for his works the more people don't know Jesus and die it is good for the works of Satan in Revelation 18 is speaking about Satan as uh, uh, a traitor of souls but believe me a traitor of souls is not just a game it is really a true um, trading of souls today in many countries you cannot be a minister in France for example France, almost all ministers are uh, Freemasons in France you cannot be a judge without being a Freemason you cannot be a commissar of the, uh, police without being a Freemason you cannot receive a, a big business without being a Freemason today even in Germany when you want to have breakthrough in your um, business either you have God or you need to go enter into a, a covenant Satan is one of the um, bosses of trading he's the one who is controlling everything he's reigning over all businesses and we in this world to break through we need the Holy Spirit Amen Hallelujah one thing the witchcraft brings we have um, prostitution wherever you have to do with prostitution you often have to do with witchcraft also when you have to do with prostitution you cannot um, do prostitution if you do not have witchcraft in you every time a human goes with a prostitute he's binding himself with the spirit of witchcraft hallelujah he's binding with the spirit of witchcraft because out of sexuality there, there was so much in it. In sexuality, there can be sicknesses, but there can also, also spirits are transferred, many evil spirits. When someone is occult, he can control your life through sexuality. They are now 
trying to uh, legalize that older people can go with children. They're trying to legalize that pedophilia is in order, is okay, why? They're trying to legalize that sophily with, with um, going into bed with uh, animals is okay. Why? They're trying to legalize everything that has to do with sexual perversion. Why? Believe me, when Jesus is not coming back in 20 or 30 years, you will be surprised how um, laws are being um, created. You'll be surprised how perversion will enter into the world. This is witchcraft and sorcery. They must control the, uh, humanity through sexuality. What is the primary function of witchcraft? The original meaning of witchcraft means hidden. Everything that is straight has to be become wicked. Everything that has a wonderful destiny has to be changed and transformed. Has to be transformed. But your destiny has to be bent. That's what witchcraft wants to do. The straight destiny has to be um, be bent over to bring away from God, to distract you from God, to separate you from God. The main function is that everything that is straight has to be bent or become wicked. Everything that seems to is good, for example, if a child has a, a very special destiny, if which which are come, they see that there is something very special in those children. As a as a as a woman, there is um, a big destiny in your life, and what does those witcher or witches do? Everywhere they see great destinies, they try to find um, covenants. I see Lorena. I see that. I see that in her child as a great destiny. So what does the witcher do? He tries to find ways to connect with Lorena. He comes at home. They eat together. He does uh, things together. I don't tell you that you, you should not invite people or that you should not have community with brothers and sisters. I'm not telling you that. But, but you have to distinguish and be careful. You uh, meet someone outside, they, they um, say one, two, three words as a Christian and then they tell you, oh, come on, let's study together. We had a couple here, they um, met someone on the street and they put them um, at home. And they all started having problems. They couldn't sleep at night. All of them had nightmares in this house. From the night, this so-called brother came home, uh, nightmares, problems, um, stress at home. They came to church and said, what is going on? And they said, oh, we have a brother. They said he's a Christian, but since he's here, we have one problem after the other. Look, our skin, we have skin problems. Uh, we're fighting at home. We're not sleeping at home. I said, cast him out, throw him out. They said, no, he's a brother. I said, he's no brother. He's no brother. So throw him out. They hesitated, and the more they hesitated, the more problems came. What did they do? They gave, sent him to the basement and gave him a room there, thinking that this would be the solution. But he had already entered with, to, in, with his feet into the house, so he had built his territory. They are like dogs. They're building their territory. When they come to you and they're um, unconsciously a call, they just need to touch your wall and they're, he's leaving his, uh, his uh, something from him. So they need to do this. And when at night, they're going astral. They need to mark it and then they come into you. 
and all of the sudden evil things are happening. This is a different level of witchcraft, I mean. This is a different level. We have experienced a lot here with brothers that were uh, converted or newly converted, but they were deeply in occultism in their past. We have had so many problems, so many fights, so many fights. At one point, we told one brother, you're not allowed to come here anymore. We realized that he did not want to convert. He came in um, with a task. He had a task. And we tried several times, and when we threw him out, it attack he attacked us severely, verbally, with many attacks, uh, also betrayed us. Why? From the moment such people are... Um, uh, revealed they are really attacking Amen. severely. Amen. Our nowadays um, fights as church, as brothers and sisters, they don't have to do with the flesh. It has to do with powers. It has to do with Satan. From the moment, like we always said, when we as a church are coming into a house, from the moment we're entering into a house or a corner or um, a part of the village, we come with the presence of the Lord. We come with the fire. And this fire is annoying. This fire is annoying someone. When a church come, is coming into an area of the city or a family is moving somewhere that are Christians that have fire and prayer, that are walking with this fire, and wherever they enter, we need to remember. When we come with a prayer life, the mites and powers in this area realize instantly that people came that have great destinies or are walking with the Lord. They are people who are not looking like us. They're looking like a light. They're in fire. They're in power. They can see and understand this. What are these people doing? They will start bringing um, turbulences in the house. And wherever I move, we as a church, when we go into a city, we need to see and understand and just figure out what powers are ruling over Mannheim, what powers are ruling. And it is one thing is also important to study how is the church in this area? Amen. How is the church in this area? When I ask you the question, how is the church in Rhinecker? What would you be your answer? How is the church in Rhinecker? In the area we are in. This is a very good question. I don't know if you have asked yourself this question. How is the church in this region? From knowing how the church is moving, you can understand and know what kind of spirits are in this state. From knowing how the church is moving, is there fire in the church? Is fasting in church? Has the word power in church? Where are demons being cast out? Are people brought into the word and uh, led to a, uh, to a life without compromises? If these answers cannot be um, answered with yes, you must know that the church is influenced by powers. You cannot, as a Christian, be in a city. And you were in five, six churches. You see here. You live like you want, no one is uh, bothered. There you can do uh, uh, break the marriage. There you can change your identity. Man will become wife. There uh, a man can marry another man. And every, here everyone knows the brother has with a sister, no one is bothered. I would ans ask myself the question, what is going on in the city? Because knowledge comes when you start asking the right questions. Also in your own life, you start a business, it's going down. You start the second one, it's going down. Third one going down. At one point you stop and say, what is going on? You were at the beginning of your of your conversion. You were in fire. You were praying. You were studying the word. You were lo in love with the word. But after five years, you're not even reading once a week. You're not praying at all. When you speak about fasting, you're the first one who's criticizing fasting. Even though in the beginning, you were in fire. You're fasting. You're praying. But now, no, not at all. 
the works of the darkness, the works of witchcraft have have worked within you, in your prayer life, in your life. But you need to know when they start working, they are not coming telling you, yes, we're the works of uh, witchcraft. We're, we're blocking your life, yes? Uh, we're the works of witchcraft. We're blocking the word of God in you. We have we've brought the anointing so much down. We're, it is us, right? They're not telling you. They're not telling you. You're the one who, when I realize three times, four times, I have, I have, I, I don't want to read the word. For one week, when I pray, I'm always tired. I, I fall asleep. You should organize a fasting. Say no, this is not normal. I need to look deeply into this. I need to look deeply into this. What is going on? And you can stand up, say, "Hey, everyone who is uh, has entered into my house without me seeing it." I will open the window. You pack your things. You go. Go. Leave. Leave my house. And you realize all of a sudden um, fights at home. No matter what you do, fights. Open the windows prophetically. Say, "Spirit of uh, fights, go out." You cannot fight my marriage. You cannot fight the, the relation to my children. Get out. When you um, doubt, say, Lord, open my eyes that I see what is attacking me or the church. You cannot just be in church, say, four or five people uh, have cancer and you stay quiet. You cannot go in church and see there's a brother fell into a sexual sin, another one sexual, another one sexual sin. What is going on? One is not normal. Sexual sin, even one is not normal. One with you, ah, I can have No, no. We need to look deeply into it. Who has infiltrated the church here and who has led that this happened? Then we need to pray as church, fasting, and look. And for one, we can realize a spirit is moving in, in uh, the church. He started with the sister to Nexus already in Brokram. Yeah, what did they do with Jacobus? Jacob. They killed Jacob. What was the next goal? What was the next goal? Peter. When a church says, ah, oh, yes, they will kill him anyway. What did the church do? The church said, Jacob died. This is not normal. Let us go into prayer and look deeply to this. Who killed Peter? Who, uh, who, killed, who killed Jacob? Who killed him? The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the priests that had the word of God, the Torah. Paul did killed as well, or James as well, not Jacob James. There was witchcraft. They thought they served God and they killed Jesus Christ. This is why uh, Je when Jesus Christ uh, appeared to uh, Paul, he said, So, why are you um, catching me? Why are you um, killing me? He thought he was serving God, but he served Satan. Satan was behind the Sadducees. Satan made their hearts hurt and blinded their eyes so that they could not see, so that they could kill everyone who was uh, moving with Jesus. Everyone who moved with Jesus are annoying them. You're annoying them. Your prayer is so annoying. You're annoying in the church when you start praying in tongues, when you start prophesying, proclaim, proclaiming. You're annoying the one who is moving with witchcraft and sorcery. Witchcraft and sorcery is part of our life, of our church. When sorcery is in church, the goal is to minimize the anointing, to bring false prophecies into the church. Come, brother. Grace, come. You see both, right? I'm prophet. I pray, I pray, I pray. God tells me, you should marry this brother. God tells me, you should marry this brother. The brother is your husband. Do you know what you say? <laughs> no. Never. God did not tell me this. Yes. Why? Because it can come out of the false source. Not as it could. You're not marrying after a prophecy. Never marry after a prophecy. 
sense that someone is coming, this woman, oh, God says, uh, marry this man. No, you never marry out of prophecy. No. No. Never. If someone is prophesying over your life, like, God is telling me this brother is back there, you should marry him. Say no. I reject this in the name of Jesus. I step against I, 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 I jump on this prophecy. You are allowed to do this because you're not marrying out of prophecy. Amen. When you want to marry, God will, you, will give you knowledge into your heart and you will receive love over this person from love and you're allowed to, to go to this person and say, hey, you pray with the brothers. Brothers, God gave me into my heart that this woman back there, this sister, uh, she is my wife. The brothers will say, let us pray about this. Amen. Let us pray about it. You pray over, about it firstly. But that the prophet comes from somewhere. You're in a seminary and they say, hey, you are allowed to marry this woman. No. This is witchcraft. It's sorcery. This is witchcraft. God tells me, for your deliverance, you should give me a thousand euros. <laughs> this is witchcraft. This is witchcraft. When you have given you money like this, you have uh, accompanied in witchcraft. Amen. God tells me, someone here should give me a thousand euros and, and he will receive ten thousand. This is witchcraft. This is manipulation. This is manipulation in witchcraft. In this way, we in church allowed witchcraft. We, we accompanied, we gave it to them as well. I have a prophecy for you, but, but you need to give me a thousand euros. You, give, you need to give me, yes, now, fast, 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 a thousand euros. You're laughing, but this is what we experience often. This is what we experienced often. God tells me from this, from this side, five people will give me 500 euros. I, will, I saw it in the spirit. Believe me, I saw it in the spirit. This is sorcery. This is witchcraft. Amen. This is, and when you, as child of God, tell something like this to someone and you take your money and give, you accompany them in witchcraft, you're as guilty as the, the false prophet. As guilty as them. This is how false anointing entered into church. God tells me, I should anoint you as apostle, but you need to uh, make me a uh, uh, <laughs> transference of uh, 10,000 euros. You laugh, but it is the tr uh, sad truth in the midst. In church, uh, in Germany, there are churches. Deliverance has uh, four to five steps, 4,000 euros, uh, 5,000, 3,000, 2,000, and 1,000. The more you give, the more time they take for your deliverance. Yes. Many churches. Many. And there are other churches to um, deliver you. The sisters coming and, and sucking the demons. You, um, you're, you're drawing out, they're drawing the demons out of you and putting them into her. This is witchcraft in church. Who was in such a deliverance already? Do not be fearful. Yes, you've experienced. Not active. You, you are not the one taking the demons, right? <laughs> yes. These are the works of Satan, the the witchcraft and sorcery in church. And when you do such things, you do a great sin in front of God. When you participate, you're also doing a great sin in front of God. Amen. When you are entering somewhere where something like this is done, stand up and say, no, I'm not participating. I am not participating. Especially when you're, uh, when someone tells you you should do this or that to receive that. No, God is not giving um uh, something to to do to receive a blessing. The only one he's, the thing he says is be holy and you will be blessed. Blessing has not to do with giving something. No, you do not have to give to God. 
You need to give him your life. This is what God um, wants. Give thousand, you will receive five thousand. No, this is not what God functions. Not with conditions. You can give thousand euros. God is not giving you any cent, but He's giving you more help, more children. He's giving you more relations, more anointing, more power because you were obedient in, in giving. You, he's giving more of Himself. Sorcery in church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Witchcraft is also a universal uh, religion that is bringing the world into a rebellion, a disobedience, curses, uh, exercise of power, the, the exercise of natural powers in the world will be controlled by Satan all the time. It is also conferences nowadays that are being organized where people are being brought to uh, exercise witchcraft and sorcery. And these conferences, out of them, they led uh, churches to do New Age. Nowadays, we have a lot of to do with New Age. New Age is also um, a part of witchcraft and sorcery. Amen. When you look into the world, the world is highly infiltrated with witchcraft, where invisible powers are being used to exercise power, where invisible powers are being used to control others. And last time we said, when you speak about the spirit of Isabel or Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel has always to do with witchcraft and, and sorcery powers. And when it, somewhere you see Jezebel, there's always witchcraft, sorcery. I mean, not uh, not necessarily in the flesh, but spiritual witchcraft. Because Jezebel must kill, must do murder. Jezebel must control. Jezebel must manipulate. Behind Ahab was Jezebel. Ahab was not the king in Israel. Jezebel was the king, the queen of Jezebel, of Israel. She determined everything. She determined which God was uh, uh, worship. When witchcraft takes over control in church, these powers are dis discerning which God is being worshipped. We're starting, we're in fire, we meet three, four times a week, we pray intensively, but from the moment the witchcraft enters into the team, you will realize less prayer. It will be more events. Um, you, they're inviting stars. They will have uh, programs. Uh, go uh, searching for mushrooms uh, uh, in a in a wood or do table tennis or do a sauna here. We go into sauna together, naked, all together. Yeah, God is not seeing us. Oh, tell me in the church where where God is saying you're not allowed to go to sauna. Tell me, uh, show me in the Bible where. Uh, you're we're not allowed to go uh, naked together into sauna. This is how our brothers and sisters are often. But not because it is not written to the word means that I should do it. And then, not because it is not written into the word I should do it. And yes, this is how the, the present case is. When witchcraft enters into your house, the first goal is to have power over your marriage and control it and determine how you should think and what you should do and just making it dirty spiritually. So a spiritual um, dirty um, coming into you, uncleanness. They're bringing you to be like Adam and Eve. When you stand in front of God, you're ashamed in front of God. You think God cannot hear me anymore. So they bring you to have an, uh, a rivalry with God. This is also witchcraft. The weapons, when they enter somewhere, they use certain weapons. Manipulation. Manipulation is a manifold power of witchcraft. They use their might to manipulate men and women and to destroy in the end. Control. They want to control as many people as, as possible and just control them from afar. In Act 16, the woman who had magical power, she had the spirit of, uh, of the seer. And, but an important point in this uh, story is 
the Bible says their masters were not far. The masters. The masters of the seer. What the, did these masters do? They controlled her from the, from the remote, like from far. You can, they can remote control you so that you start prophesying or uh, seeing things. They can remote control you. From, from far away. Uh, one of our sisters experienced for, for, for years, she was going somewhere else, and her sister told her, you need to marry this brother. If you do not do this, you will die in one church here in Germany. God tells me, if you're not marrying this brother, you're going to die. And this sister and this so-called prophetess called me and she tried to attack me. I told her, no, if you do not take back these words, you're the one who's going to die. Yes, I had to tell her this. She has uh, um, slandered me and attacked me. How could you uh, speak against what I as prophet said? And what she also said, I'm one of the two witnesses, is what she said. One of the two witnesses. What Revelation um, speaks about in the Bible. One of the two witnesses. This is what I heard often from many Christians. I'm one of the two witnesses. This is a, relig a religious and satanic spirit. It's a, a spirit of Antichrist. That someone is calling himself one of the two, two witnesses. Many stood up and said, I'm the Jesus that came. This is the spirit of witchcraft that is uh, manipulating and luring in other people to control and destroy you. Because uh, one other weapon is um, intimidating. Intimidation. It is another weapon of witchcraft that is used by witches and sorcerers. Yes. Intimidation means to take, uh, bring you away from the the way to bring you off of the of the right path to bring you away from the right path of God isolation if you see someone who is always isolated who doesn't want to have anything to do with other people who is always living in darkness always apart from family and from the world isolation he is a victim of uh, witchcraft. When witchcraft tries to destroy you, they are isolating you completely. And one of the greatest um, witchcraft is also video games where your children are, are locking themselves up for 10 hours. Oh, you, and you think, oh, I leave him alone. I leave him alone in my house? Um, slapping in the face. Slapping in the face. In your house, Everything that has to do with occult games or evil games, break the cities, break the PlayStation, even if it costed you uh, 500 euros. You save the destiny of your child. When a child plays one of those witches or sorcery games, and at one point this child is only wearing dark clothes with a skull, you need to see that this child is already in the witchcraft. This child is only using time with mobile phone or video games, uh, mobile phone, video games, friends, mobile. He does not have any time with the family. He's already in witchcraft. And do you know? If you re re neglect this, a child who is entering into witchcraft, the first one who's going to be fought is you. He will receive tasks from witches and uh, the band, uh, clans of witches. A child came to me, told me, I have received the task to bring the, the heart of my father into uh, the clan of my witches so that we can eat it. I asked him, when should it happen? He said, very soon. I have already given my confirmation. My father will have an, ex an accident. He will bleed. He will go and take his heart and eat it. I tell him, he said, we have, he said, the heart of his best friend we ate, the heart of his uncle. You see the other one? He's also one of us. We, we ate his brain. He had a, a tumor in the brain. And we ate it. A, a, a child, 10 year old. You doubt if you stand in front of such a child. You say, no, 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 this, this child must go to psychiatry. Like in Europe, you send them to psychiatry. You send someone who is high-ranked witch, uh, in witchcraft into psychiatry. 
experience. I was in psychiatry. I was called a, a woman in Mannheim. Her husband had a coin. Whenever he needed money, he went into went into his room, spoke over the money. Uh, over the coin, went out and came back with 10,000, 20,000 euros. He had so much money. He wants a credit. He uh, speaks to this coin. He goes to the bank. He ha had no job and he, he receives a high credit. But at one point, he started um, uh, having sex with his daughter and his children well, because these spirits are demanding something. And he ended up in prison. He raped them, and he ended up in prison. His wife had no money anymore. The wife knew she had this. Co he had this coin. She started using the coin, speaking, going out, coming back with money. At some point, she's standing at home. She hears, "We want blood. We want blood. We want blood. We want blood." She goes into the toilet. We want blood. She goes into the kitchen. We want blood. All the time, blood, blood, blood. She, she went crazy, took the coin, um, left it in a, to a telephone cell. She came back home. The, the voice was still there. We want blood. We want blood. She went crazy. Psychiatry. Called a pastor. The pastor said, I have nothing to do. I'm called a brother. We come. We went there. The woman told us everything. She said, my place is not here in the psychiatry. I just did something. There was uh, an abomination before God. I used demons through a coin. Demons are working in the, <laughs> in the finance market. Go home. You uh, can call Jesus. Jesus. You, he comes, but you cannot see him. But you call Satan, and you see him. You know, there are several times you close your door, you make certain things. Come, he comes instantly. Do you know what Ouija bread uh, word? Yes. When you played with this already, uh, you have problems. Ouija board is so dangerous, so dangerous. Many people who have played with them ended up in psychiatry in the end. Many children played with this. Children are meeting with a party and then they do something, some Ouija board. Now, this is a call directly to demons. Isolation. Um, bond, bondage of souls, like binding of souls. This is also um, what witchcraft uses. Binding of souls. When people who are occult are entering into a church, they can see who is walking emotionally in, in, in the soul. And this binding of souls is very important because through this, they can control your life through your emotions. This is why the Bible says, walk in the spirit so that you do not fulfill the, the desires of the flesh. Satan uses your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts that are, have not been crucified at the cross. Binding of souls is so dangerous. We have experienced this here a lot that people bound themselves as a spirit uh, in their souls. It was a fight to break this binding. We suffered because when the souls are bound that deeply, you're like, I tell, I don't say that we're not allowed to have community, uh, but in this church I look that emotionally weak people are not together with other emotionally weak people. I, I try to uh, prevent that. Because when you're weak emotionally, always uh, complaining, and you walk with someone who's the leg, what is happening? When you're emotionally weak, search for someone who is spiritually strong so that he can build you up, build you up, build you up. And when you have bitterness and emotionally weak, someone who has witchcraft or Jezebel, he sees that he will come and give you help and so on. But look, but always look with which, mind, with which mindset he comes to you. Because when you see that this mindset is false, um, look for others who are walking in the spirit. They will help you to come back up. Emotional people that are together, this can go right, but they will stay emotional. They need other people that are spiritually high and that can bring them up in spirit. This is why church, it is a must. Um, that the church must um, protect everyone who is spiritually down. We need to carry them and protect them of those that are emotionally 
I always try that people who have problems with depression, with their personality, with their identity, I try those to, to hand them over to brothers and sisters who are moving in spirit. Amen. I've tested here. I, uh, back then, I looked at uh, two or three people. When I came into church, they always looked uh, who was emotionally down. They had long talk conversations. I, I looked for others for one, two, three times. I, I asked other people, do you see the same thing? Uh, back, I'm not speaking about today. So it was back then. Did you realize that when the brother comes, he's searching always people who are emotionally... Uh, did you realize that when this sister comes, she's always together with those who are emotionally um, down. But she herself was emotionally down. This is what I thought was weird, that people who are very emotional and in the wrong way are searching for people with problems very fastly that have big problems and they, they bound themselves together. This is what you need to be, take care of. They also work with fear, fear of man, uh, fear of just anything. It is one of the greatest uh, weapons. Of, uh, also, um, confusion, loss of personal identity, they bring you to lose your own identity, and so on. And they bring you to live in fear. Should a child of God live in fear? No. You should not have any fear of future, of to lose anything, everything. No, we do not have any. Should we should not have any fear? Since Jesus went to the cross of Calvary, you do not have any. Should not have any fears anymore. If you have fears, stand up, pray in tongues, and command the spirit of fear leave, leave my thoughts, leave my heart. I have no fear because Jesus Christ in me, the hope of glory. Jesus Christ within me, the whole globe of glory. They are also using. They bring uh, sorcery to other people to make them sick and tired, to bring them into doubts. Through this, they can control you. When you're doubting, the door is open. When you're in fear, the door is open. Someone who is always in fear, it means that he's not trusting God completely. Someone who's in fear and doubt, it is an open door for witchcraft. And they're sending a demon of doubt or fear into the doors of your life so that they control you all the time, so that the fear stays. The more fear you have, the more doubts you have, the more they can control your life. They're sending poverty. They're also sending poverty. The more poor you are, the more... Uh, the less you're trusting God. You see your situation is not changing. <laughs> you think God has left you, and has given up on you, you're finding no job, you have no finances anymore, you pray it's like heaven is closed up. Then you think God has given me out, up on me, God doesn't want to have to do with me anymore. You think having such thoughts, you are under the power of witchcraft. Situations, they're also bringing constant fight in a marriage. When you see fights, fight, fight. One year, two years, three years, four years, five years. This is witchcraft, it's sorcery. These are the works of witchcraft. How can it be that you're Christian and you're always fighting with your wife? Always in a fight. This is witchcraft. These are the works of witchcraft in the midst of family. And when you don't understand this and go against it, the marriage will not stay. No matter what conversations you have, no matter how much um, so caring you do, it will not uh, last because the works of witchcraft are active. Sorcery brings you to use evil words out of your mouth. This is the works of uh, sorcery and witchcraft. Always um, bad words, bad thoughts. They need to control you through that. Amen. Witchcraft brings curses, false healings. They can um, transform people, humans, into animals. Yes, they can. A sister, we were in prayer here in Mannheim, and the Spirit of God came over me. I said, here, um, sister, we cannot pray for you anymore. She said, why? 
you need to um, confess something. She didn't want to. We pray. We prayed. The spirit of God was so intensively here. The sister stops the prayer. She said, "I have drank. I drank the blood of my father." I said, "How?" She said, "Yes, my mother and I, our father, um, he was a highly occult person, and he." he she threatened us, and but my mother and I, we combined our powers. We killed our father and bl drank his blood. <laughs> when you hear this, you think it is a movie. In Europe, you think this is not possible, but go to Asia, go to South America. Go. They they will tell you this. Yes, with us this is normal. In Africa, it's normal. I was young, like 10 or 12 years. My cousin died. He died. He was all of a sudden he was sick and died. Do you know what happened? The family of his father said, "We will, we will not bury him until we know the truth." <laughs> Why? In their in their power, they knew what happened. They said, we will call the, the family of, of the mother. We want to know what happened. Why was he in, in the village of the family of his mother and came sick and died? There was a palama. Do you know what palama is? It means they're meeting, they're dis discussing and negotiating. The grandfather, the father of the mother, stands up and says, my daughter brought this child to life. She was not married to your son even though he is the father of the son. Do you know why I brought him to our bond? We, we ate him. You know why? He, you changed his name without asking me. You understand this? <laughs> the family of the father, I, I take an example. Your father and your mother. You're born, your father and your mother were friends, not married. Okay? In certain families, the child belongs to the, the, the family of the mother because the father did not marry the mother. Okay? But when I, as a father, come and say, I change your name and give you my name, the family says no. The, f the father of your mother says no. You need to ask me first and ask my permission. And they did not do this. This is why they killed him. He died. For me, I, I was in the midst of. I, I heard them, Panama. I, I was there. I said, I will never ever go to vacation there. Not out of fear, but because of the changing of a name, they they killed my cousin. I never wanted to have anything to do with such people, and many people died like this. I want to show you how real these works are. And believe me, in Europe, it is more real, but the difference is the big witches are here in, in a suit, by a driving big car. You, you cannot even think of it. Many witchcraft and sorcery is in, in uh, the church. They pray in tongues, they're preaching, they're giving prophecies. they praying uh, the, the uh, drums, they do everything. But when you have this, the gift of when you don't have the gift of this sermon, you cannot see them. You cannot see an, any witchcraft in church if you do not have this, the gift of this sermon. When you don't have the word, pray for this gift of sermon in the church because we are shortly before the coming of Christ. And the more, the closer we come there, the more these works are active. The more they will be active the more they will work and, and move here. We had deliverance short, a uh, short time for now. I was allowed to uh, see one who was in the leadership of the church. Just to see the works that are in this person, I think you prayed along, but the works of witchcraft are so deep in this person. Uh, we were uh, in Ivory Coast a short time while ago. Um, a woman came. She said, "I'm one of those in the Church of God. In the Church of God. The 
They want to control your life. They want to uh, ruin your life. They want to destroy. They are very envious, uh, jealous. In church, uh, they know and see when you're gifted and they're gossiping with others, slandering uh, others, brothers and sisters. When you have one person who's always speaking badly about others, it's the tongue of witchcraft. <coughs> always bad about brothers and sisters. But believe me, when you give your ears all the time for someone who's speaking bad about others, you're also doing witchcraft. I don't hear any amen here. You're speaking about uh, bad about the others? Ah, you don't say any amen. Oh, all of a sudden you're witches. <laughs> ah. Now I, I got all of you. <laughs> Someone is always speaking bad about other people, or even about, um, uh, also about himself. He, he's not leaving himself out. This is the tongue of witchcraft. This is the tongue of the uh, serpent. He's judging always others. He's very strict and um, being um, uh, when you go somewhere and women are only have to be with skirts and are allowed to um, serve or something like this. This is. Uh, legality, legality is it? Um, women are not allowed to do this or that. This is witchcraft. It's uh, Jezebel. Because God did not say, uh, the, God said, I will pour out my spirit over all people. You know, prophesying also means to teach. Prophesying does also t partly mean to preach and to teach. What is a prophecy for? To encourage, to uh, build up, to. A rebuke to to show certain uh, things. What is the preaching for? Preaching is for encouraging, rebuking, rebuilding up, bring understanding. This is almost the same um, things like prophecy. Your daughters will prophesy. This means they will bring the word of God, the re revealed word of God. When you start uh, prohibiting, uh, uh, we start from tomorrow, women have to speak quiet. This means witchcraft. They're controlling the women that they remain silent. When you're always under such control, that's not good. You were under the power of witchcraft. You're not allowed to speak. You're not allowed to do anything. You're not allowed. They're controlling all of your movements. Control at home is witchcraft. Men, we're not allowed to control our wives. The women, let them free at home. You're not allowed to do this. You have to do this. You're not allowed to do this. You will not do this. No, this is witchcraft. Encourage the women to do. Encourage the women to just move. They can. She can lead prayers. She can preach at home. She can also teach you something. She can rebuke you. Does the Bible say only men are allowed to rebuke? No. Women are also allowed to rebuke. Women are allowed to rebuke. When my wife would not rebuke me, who would who should do it? She knows me better than anyone. Even if it hurts me, I have to. Uh, uh, my my wife always tells me I'm uh, Micah in your in your uh, presence, and Ahab did not like Misha, Micah. I, well, I'm not Ahab. Uh, she's like. Uh, I'm Micah and I'm rebuking you. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. We need to allow that we're being rebuked. Witchcraft is very destructive. It's always telling lies and is very proud. People who are under the captivity of witchcraft have many troubles to get out of it. Even Christians, they have many troubles to come out of the captivity of witchcraft. They're more cannibals, but cannibal in spirit because they need to eat 
uh, souls. They often uh, go do astral projections. They go out of their body to do something somewhere. A few years ago, we served in a church, and while we were um, serving in the church, three people were out of their body. Three people were astral somewhere else. One was sitting in front, someone uh, the other one out somewhere. I was like, what is going on? This one is gone, this one is gone, this one is gone. And do you know why people um, move um, astral? Well, the anointing of God is there so that they do not um, receive. The spirit of God brings, uh, the spirit of witchcraft brings people to go astral during the preaching, during the, the teaching, because the Lord says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And the spirit of witchcraft brings people to go astral. They're here, but they're not here. They look at you, but they're not here. I prayed for a young man in Nepal and he was gone and God showed me he was he was walking outside the, the young man was here in the midst of the church while we praised he fell and was gone and people prayed and prayed I said no stop he's outside he's going for a walk he's like what, what going for a walk he's sleeping no he's not sleeping he's going for a walk they called him yeah, yeah. for example uh, John stand up stand up no you're not calling him like this who is going for a walk <laughs> he's going shopping you need to somehow just like Jesus out of the grave Lazarus Amen. because his soul is far away he's far away in spirit and we say hey no he's not coming and you see during deliverance when the spirit of witchcraft or um, the spirits of human um, when you look at the person you just see white did you see this? you pray for someone and it's completely white in the eyes sometimes the eyes are half closed but you see, the, you see white okay Open the eyes, you will see completely white. The person is not there anymore. It has two meanings. Either the person itself is doing witchcraft and is gone so that it is not going to be delivered, or a human spirit is controlling this person. And the human spirit is, is coming in the foreground. Here's the, the person and the, the spirit of humanness in front. You want to, to um, deliver, but it's stopping the power. It's doing everything that the person is not going to be delivered. The, the human spirit is in the, in the foreground. And when it is like this, you need to call the person so that the person takes over control. Because the, the human spirit has the control and it's stopping the deliverance. You need to call. And when you call, you will see the person will do like this and tell the person, pray, pray along, pray along. And the more you say pray along, the more the person tries to fall asleep. This means the whole human spirit has the control over the soul of the person. He's controlling that the power should not reach the person, the, the prayer should not reach the person. When you see this, stop prayer, call the person and hold the person, that the person stays in the foreground all the time, always has the control. And how does can a person keep control? By praying it to herself, but not in tongues, because there are witchcraft tongues. You can start, uh, the person is baptized in the spirit, but the uh, human spirit is praying in tongues out of the mouth of the person. So stop the praying in tongues and to tell, tell the person, say, call Jesus, call Jesus, Jesus Christ. Not Jesus, but Jesus Christ. I was in Qatar and I preached there and the wife of the pastor fell to the ground, started, uh, Jesus, 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 Jesus calling this all the time. Everyone clapped. It was like, oh, wow, she's delivered. Jesus, she's... I said, no, it's not Jesus Christ. There were 10, 15 pastors. They thought I was crazy. I said, no. Yeah, it's, it's a wife of a pastor. She has Jesus. It's not a demon. I said, no, it is a, a prince and he must go out. They discussed. I said, wait. I went in front of the wife as I placed my hand, if this Jesus out of your mouth is the crucified Jesus Christ that rose, you should keep uh, saying Jesus, but if it is not him, you should come out. She did. She could not say anymore. I said, if you're Jesus Christ that is speaking through his mouth, keep speaking, if you're not, it's over. She was, she couldn't say anything anymore. The people said, well, what is going on? No, it's not Jesus, it's a demon, a 
an evil spirit. And we prayed. As we proclaimed, she started uh, puking, pray, puking, puking, puking. And the spirit of Satan left her. And the woman uh, started on her knees, Jesus the Lord, Jesus the Lord. I said, do you see the difference? Yes, we see it. Demons are um, pretending very often. You pray for someone, you, uh, you, you cast out demons, he falls to the ground, not, be, not because he fell means that the demon has gone. Often they fall and they sleep. It is so comfortable. They sleep. You see someone, he's all of a sudden falling. You should, no, wake him up and keep continuing the work. And often when they come touching the floor, the, the floor has a lot of power. They, they suck the power out of the, the, of the floor, especially um, sirens and um, uh, water spirits. They use, take the power out of the ground and when they, they call, when they touch the ground, um, the first thing you declare is burning coals on the floor. Because you have declared, and the word became flesh. You declare, and you see instantly how manifestations come back. Not uh, giving up instantly, because I know deliverance is hard, but do not see it search the easy way. One of the spirits where you sometimes pray from um, morning to evening is the spirit of humans. He can take you five to six hours. You will tell me, yes, Jesus has prayed once and declared once and so on. I don't want to discuss. I do not want to discuss deliverance. When you come and expect it, you, so they pray once and everything is gone. I'm not a fan. I, I would love to have this, but not. I'm not a fan of those evangelists and preachers. They take ha lay hands and people fall. They say demons are gone. Often, I have experienced people very often that went to such uh, evangelists and prophets. They prayed once. They fell to the floor. They came to me. I was. Uh, I could uh, cast out these same demons for hours. One went to TB Joshua uh, back then. He had, he paid um, a, a flight ticket for 1,500 euros. TB Joshua went, like, like handsome, and by going, uh, passing, you paid 1,500 euros by pa laying on the hands, by passing, but they said, you're freed. He came back to Germany and said, I'm freed, but after three weeks, nightmares, spiritual wives, every, everything doubled and made, we came four times, we prayed here. I'm not saying that you cannot free someone for one person, but often deliverance has to do with uh, uh, enduring. The deeper you were involved into the works of satanism, uh, occultism, the longer the deliverance can take. Because when a spirit within you, a spirit of witchcraft, Behind the spirit of witchcraft, there are different types of um, spirits. Behind of witchcraft, you have uh, the spirit of lying, manipulation, of co spirit of control, of uh, delivering in the Gadarina. How many demons did he have? He had many, many. Behind the spirit, there can be other spirits uh, hiding. Everyone can be a victim of witchcraft. The only option to... Um, prevent that we are under the net, uh, caught under the net of witches is when we have uh, a spiritual life, a prayer life, a, a um, sacred, a holy life, a life of trusting God, when we're in a tight connection with God, when we walk with God, it is very important. And the Holy Spirit is here to uh, reveal the works of witchcraft to us because Jesus said when the Holy Spirit comes he will show you everything everything that he will remind you and reveal to you everything I've give, brought to you he will not speak about himself but he will tell you everything that I've given to you how can I know that I'm under the net an attack of witchcraft lack of blessing in my life I pray I fast 
I study, I'm a, I'm a good Christian, but I do not experience godly blessing in my life. My job is miserable, my, my finances are miserable, I'm not moving forward. It could be a sign of get of attack of witchcraft. Our intense um, turbulences in the marriages, when always in the marriage there are turbulences, uh, when there are always turbulences in marriages, fights, uh, discussions, these are signs that we are under the attack of witchcraft. They have weapons, according to Psalm 91. Psalm 91 reads, speaks about the fiery um, arrows that are flying by day and night. Psalm 64 speaks about, it is one of the Psalms that <coughs> giving you precise information about witchcraft. Psalm 64, or Psalm uh, 91. Let us read Psalm uh, 91, so that we understand a bit what I say. Psalm 91, verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. Does it tell you something? Uh, from the snare of the fowler, of the bird capturer, and from the noisome pestilence. These are the works of the witchcraft. Noisome pestilence, noisome sickness, noisome uh, situations. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. Um, or in German, you will hide yourself. Hide from what? From what? From Satan. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. What is a buckler or a shield? Uh, uh, what are you using this for? Uh, to protection. Protection from what? Arrows. What arrows? What are satanic arrows? Sicknesses. What else? Thoughts. One of the greatest fight area is the thoughts. When you're able to control your thoughts, Satan cannot control you. Thoughts. And often, how do I know that I'm under the control of Satan? When problems are in my life, how are you thinking? Like, yes, negative. When, when severe situations are uh, happening, how are you thinking? Negative. When financial needs are coming, what are you th how are you thinking? Negative. When sicknesses are coming, how are you thinking? Negative. Do you have joy when you come home and your house is burned? Do you have home joy when your uh, the car tire is uh, exploding? Who is praising the Lord when the car tire is <laughs> uh, exploding? Who here? <laughs> Not myself. <laughs> I said the truth, right? I need to say the truth. Who's praising the Lord when at the end of the month you're in the minus? <laughs> Who? You're the minus. Um, the rent needs to be paid. Uh, 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 gas says the children are in front of the door. Um, pocket money, pocket money. You see your your account minus. You look to the right where where uh, the money sources can be, and you see nothing. Are you praising the Lord? Are you are you selling the Lord? But Paul said, be joyful all uh, joyful all the time. <coughs> Paul said, be joyful all the time. You receive your. Uh, your test back, five minus, six minus, what are you doing? You think, what will my dad say? Uh oh. Earlier, we, we uh, went circles around the house, we waited for dad to fall asleep, mom, mom to fall asleep, the aunt to fall asleep, midnight, what are you doing out there? I'm afraid my father or my uncle will hit me, or he will be you know, mad. This is where you stay outside. Yes, I wait for him to go sleep. But he, he's sitting in front of the television for one, two, three o'clock. He knows that you're outside. Oh, we experience things. Be joyful all the time. He's speaking about the noisome pestilence. You should not be fearful. Uh, he shall, uh, just shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the error. 
you're giving, we, we receive very important things here. While you're asleep, do you know that the power of darkness is active? Why, why are there nightmares at night? Why are there often sexual dreams at night? Why are there many fears at night? Why the most rituals are happening at night? Why the most evil things are happening at night? Night is carrying a lot. Normally, spiritual Christians should at least for one hour pray at night. Spiritual Christians, where while everyone is asleep, they stand in the living room. You pray in tongues one or two hours. You walk through the house. When you do this, heaven will always stay open. God will reveal things to you that normal Christians will not see. You should long for this. You're not a normal person. You're a supernatural person, a spiritual person. But when was the last time when you had revelation? When was the last time when you had insights that something is moving in the street right now, something is moving in the church or in my life? I need no, I need uh, knowledge. We're spiritual people, but we are so blind because we are used to uh, and and raised in a church where we pray. We we hear the preacher, we sing, uh, clap hands, we go home, we think it's a spiritual life. No, it's not. It is a part of the spiritual life. Spiritual life means we pray, we pray, God is revealing that someone here has to do with this or that. It is a tag that started shortly ago. Let us enter into prayer for that. That we pray, a sister or brother is manifesting. We see that right now in the, in the, in the bloodline there is a bond with um, or covenant with Satan because God is opening the eyes, because God is revealing and He's giving us revelation. Church needs such people that have knowledge, that have revelation, that during um, the deliverance see something that we break through. The church needs watchmen. Watchmen know, c can see the works of the Satan and the works of the darkness. You can pray at home while you're on your knees. The heaven goes open. You see Satan w with uh, arrows behind your pastor. And God says, break these arrows, destroy them. You start in prayer. Your your way to pray in tongues changes because why? Because you enter into war. There is war prayer. There is war proclamation. The way you worship, uh, you you beg for something is not the same as when you go to war with prayer. Prayer war prayer is different. You meet someone here who's here in front. You and saying he's shaking the head. He's praying, praying, praying. You, you think what is he doing? He's crazy. Hannah, when you would have seen Hannah, you would have think, thought she's crazy. She didn't have uh, words. She's just moving. The priest came. But what, what's going on with Hannah? No. Hannah is in, in uh, the, the, the beginning of uh, birth. Uh, uh, normal, normal man cannot understand what it is because he, the Eli could not uh, understand because he was not spiritual anymore. There's prayer and prayer. When God is telling you, or labor, was it? And when God is telling you, I give you um, cities in a nation, you should start uh, with a labor prayer. When God is telling you, I give you cities in this nation, in the nations, you should start with prayer like labor. Because when God is giving us we carry the seeds within us. Moses was in uh, the desert for 40 years. He should learn to carry Israel in his stomach. And this is what he learned in the desert with Jethro. He learned going to Jethro into um, loneliness, just going into prayer for hours without anyone seeing him. He learned to hear the voice of the Lord in the desert. He learned to uh, discern in the desert. When God is telling you, I give you nations, start with labor prayer because the time will come 
when you won't have this time anymore, you will just go abroad and, and do the works of God, to do works and wonders and miracles and signs to uh, awaken people. God says there are so many, I see so many dark patches in the cities and the nations. Dark patches means the light is missing and God tells the time is coming where you will go into these cities and bring the light and uh, to br build up my church and to awaken my church. Why? It is why I have called you because I see an apostolic, an apostle in your womb. You have this calling in you and the Lord tells you, uh, the Lord tells you, start praying, start putting these visions in front of your eyes, saying, Lord, I long to and seek to fulfill your works. I'm a tool. I'm whatever you uh, do out of me, whatever you want with my life. Make out of my life whatever you want. Make out of my life whatever you want. Amen. Soon we'll go into prayer. There is so much to say in this topic. And yes, next time we will um, look more into this topic. There is the spirit of turtle and of uh, snail. It's called the turtle anointing and the snail anointing. And when the witches place this anointing in you, your life is like a snail or a turtle. You're not moving in the, the pace God is expecting. Whatever you're doing is slow. What, everything is going slowly. You're expecting something. It takes so long until it comes. Pray. It could be that you're under the turtle or snail anointing. There is snail anointing and turtle anointing. You never really reach a goal. It takes so long until you come uh, reach the goal. <coughs> and how do you see that you're under the power of witchcraft when the organs in you just fail it suddenly? Suddenly, this one organ is not working anymore. The heart is not beating anymore. Suddenly, the the kidneys are not working anymore. Suddenly, you go to the doctor and he says, "Oh yes, it's a function, a misfunction." Often, it is an attack of witchcraft. You're under witchcraft. An intense prayer must be done. Spiritual blindness is also a sign that you're under the witchcraft. When you're always blind, the church is blind, people are blind in church. They don't see that they're moving in the wrong way, that they're living in sin, that they're not obedient to God anymore. You live with a man, but he's not seeing that he's not moving with God anymore. You live with a woman, but she's moving so wrong that she's not seeing herself. She's under spiritual blindness. This is a work of witchcraft. There's also the vagabonds, uh, vagabonds uh, anointing. Do you know what vagabond is? What is a vagabond? When you're always uh, being driven. Today you're in this church, tomorrow in the next one, the day after in the next and the next. You're never um, confident and comfortable with a church or today you're in this business, tomorrow in another business, tomorrow other business. You never really have a, a real goal. This is the vagabond anointing. This is what witches always often place over people so that you're walking like a vagabond. You're not reaching a lot in your life. You're without goal. And when you realize this in your life, this is the witchcraft. Distraction, you're always distracted. In church distracted, at home distracted. You cannot really have a real conversation with your partner. You're always distracted. You're distracted financially, uh, distracted in your job, with, distracted everywhere. This is the work of witchcraft. This is the sign of witchcraft. Wherever you meet, people are hating you. In churches, you're in church, you're hated. There's always someone who's somewhere hating you. In, in a job, there's always someone coming who's hating you. You go into a, a, a business or into church, there's someone, always someone who's hating you. In a church, in a family, someone. This is also the work of witchcraft. They're placing um, signs over your life that you're always being hated. There's also the witchcraft like um, homosexuality. If you say so, see someone who's uh, homosexual, look behind his family, you will see witchcraft. Also, people are always finding excuses. Yes, he's born this way. Homosexuality has 99% to do with witchcraft. Homosexuality. 
If you see someone who's homosexual, look in the background of his family. Two, three, four, five um, generations, you will see witchcraft. It's often the consequence of witchcraft. Witchcraft in the church. Mm. Um, uh, you cannot pray anymore or doubt uh, debts that you cannot explain, even though you did not do anything. You see financial debts without explanation. These are the works of uh, witchcraft. They come and just eat up your finances. They just eat up your finances. You were successful in business. Everything was good. You had enough money. All of a sudden, you're in debt. They can lure you in to uh, sign false contracts. They can lure you in to, to uh, take the false um, uh, business partners. If you do not pray intensively for your prayer, uh, for your business, which just can bring you to, we said, we said uh, witchcraft means to make uh, not straight anymore. So you are straight in your business. You have financial breakthrough. But when witches attack you, they bring you out of the way of success. And all of a sudden you have debts. All of a sudden all banks are in front of your um, door. You're under witchcraft. I personally know a woman. I was in Strasbourg. I visited a family. A woman came to me. She was um, 54. And we prayed. And at one point I said, can we read Ezekiel 16? It is a mighty chapter. I said, read aloud. I, I gave it to her younger sister. She was like 38. I told her, read Ezekiel um, 16. She started reading it. Her older sister screamed aloud. She fell, fell to the ground. She was gone. I said, Lord, <laughs> what did I do again? <laughs> this was my uh, reaction. And God said, this Ezekiel 16 is bound to her life. I said, Lord, what is going on? The Lord said, wake her up, let her speak. What I um, got to know is that when she was born, her grandfather was one of the mightiest uh, witch or sorcerer in uh, Ivory Coast. And her grandpa wished for a, a boy. When the boy should, be, uh, should inherit. But when he got to know that she was a woman, he cursed her. And she lived her life she had three husbands, but I tell you, rich French uh, husbands. Every time she married one, um, uh, he, he got broke. When they separated, he became rich again. Next one married, uh, he lost his money. They tr separated, he got rich again. The third is the same. Then she said, I will never marry again. And this day we were allowed to see that the spirit that was in her, everyone, every man who's coming close to her will uh, go financially ruined. We prayed that the woman was freed and she was the leader. Do you know, give, give those ah, GB, GBG um, that are uh, renting houses, uh, uh, giving houses out for rent. And she was, she has earned a lot of money and she was working for them. But she was somehow poor, like a, a German word is like a, a white mouse, whatever. She was very, very poor. She was living in a small apartment, but after we prayed, she was leader of, uh, an, ag of uh, uh, an agentur of uh, this TBG. And she gave her, um, her papers to become a big apartment as well, but she did not receive it. She, she um, applied for a house, nothing worked. Whatever she wanted to um, buy for a car, she had a really old car because nothing nothing worked. It was a really small apartment where, was, where there was just a bed, where the kitchen was just somewhere up there. She lived like this and she was co-pastor in one of the biggest churches with 3,000 uh, members in Paris. Can you imagine? Co-pastor. The church you can see in Detroit Charisma. Charisma now has almost 5,000 members. And in whole France, about 20,000. She was co-pastor. 
This means that the founder of the church, they were always together, but the woman had spiritual problems and no one knew it. You can die in a church when they don't pray for you. We prayed for one hour for this woman. It didn't even take two weeks. The woman found a house, not not two weeks, and the woman bought a car as if the, the recovery was suddenly after the deliverance. We were surprised ourselves that all of a sudden everything was given back. You should tell the enemy, give me back everything that you have stolen. You should let go of this. Your health, your marriage, your family, everything you should let go of. John 10.10 10 says the thief comes to kill, uh, destroy, and uh, steal. Not for the people of the world, because it belongs to him, but it, be it belongs to us, for us. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I came so that my sheep received the life. All of this uh, sudden death in family, people who die early in family. Yes. Uh, adultery in the family, uh, repeated adultery, the grandfather, the father, the children, you are under the control and the power of witchcraft. They, they kill you spiritual, they, they paralyze your activities. How can we um, put it aside in the family? First of all, knowledge that we are under the power of witchcraft. Without knowledge, there is no freedom. Knowledge, um, repentance, and uh, yeah, true repentance. Because when you're under the power of witchcraft, you have opened a door somewhere. When you're under the power of witchcraft, it means that somewhere in the bloodline, you have a massive witchcraft because and an active uh, witchcraft. Because they're active and passive witches. Active witches, um, they're active. They can proclaim um, curses. They can, um, how do you say this? They can see, sow seeds, they can uh, plague uh, people with sicknesses, they can go astral into your uh, house to lay down eggs, uh, snake eggs, they can do a lot of things. These are active witches. But there's also a passive witches, you will be used. Your astral energy will be used. Astral energy will be used. When people come, for example, have sexual uh, sex with you in uh, dreams, you have passive witchcraft. Sex, sac uh, sexuality means passive witchcraft. You should reject these seeds so that those that were um, combining themselves to you with sexuality, that he's not coming into your um, area anymore. Have you heard of sexual um, wives and husbands already? Yes, sexual uh, husbands are also called scubus and incubus. These are spirits. You, you dream, you are in sexuality in your dream. It's not a dream. It is a spiritual attack from either a spirit or a human that is longing for you somewhere and has to do with witchcraft and is coming into your dreams and has a connection with you, sexuality. In first uh, in Genesis, how much? Six. The spirits, the fallen angels, came and had sexuality with the women. They took um, um, bodily uh, human bodies and had sexuality with the women. And just like a human can long for you, spirits can do too. Just like a, a woman can long for a husband, a spirit can do it for a woman and or a wife for both. So when in your nightmares you're always um, um, persecuted, persecuted. These are the works of uh, the witchcraft that are behind you. Uh, uh, eating something in a dreams on a regular basis has a meaning of seeds that are being placed in you. They are laying seeds within you. Many dreams we have have many meanings. You, you should not throw your dreams into the trash. You should... Um, Look into them according to the word and according to prayer. Through dreams, you can know a lot. A lot. Through your dreams. Amen. Do not throw away your dreams. When the children at night are always um, uh, 
in turmoil, they dream badly at night. When you're married, call your husband, go in prayer. Say, Lord, what is going on there? And when the children can speak, ask the children, what did you dream? What did you dream? Sometimes um, uh, others from the school can come and call the children to go as trial kids from school. Do you know why? Because many of our children have to do with Harry Potter, have to do with uh, the Lord of Rings. This was the beginning of initiation of many children into witchcraft. Many children are watching programs on the TV with magic, with uh, mermaids. Or All right. Do you know what happens when your children watch this? They will be initiated into witchcraft. You will think I'm over. Uh, I'm, I'm doing too, saying too much, but let your children watch on a regular basis movies with magic. You will be the first victims of your children. I know a pastor, wife, or a woman. She was like a mother. Her daughter started um, dressing black. She didn't want to come into the church anymore. She didn't want to go to the community. She just stayed in her room. One day, there was prayer evening. The Holy Spirit told um, the, the mother, the pastor, do not go. Stay at home. Close all doors. Let your husband go, but uh, close the door and stay here with your wife. I will show you something. The wife was obedient. She closed every door. She, she uh, sent her um, husband. God knew when the husband would stay, he would destroy everything. God told the pastor to call your daughter. Go into her room. Call her. Tell her, what is your task? She said, what task? She, she was uh, obedient. She went to the room, asked her daughter, what is your task? The ta daughter looks at her. Huh? How do you know? Who told you? What is your task? She she did as if she knew because in this state, um, if you say ah no, I just want to no, she stayed calm. What is your task? The daughter started crying, and she cries. She cries. The more she cries, the more aggressive she became. The more aggressive, and this the the woman started praying in tongues and tongues and tongues. The more she prayed in tongues, the the, the more aggressive the, her daughter became. She was about 18 years old. She prayed, she prayed, she prayed. But the more she prayed in spirit, the more aggressive was her daughter. At one point, she proclaimed the daughter fell to the ground. She said, I want to pray, um, I want to speak. Please stop the fire. Please stop the fire. The pastor said, no, I'm not going to stop until you speak. She said, no, this fire is too strong. My daughter, I thought, how can it be that you cannot take the fire of God anymore? Mama, my friends, my, my female friends, what is with my friends? My, my friends initiated me to witchcraft. We drank the blood of animals. We did rituals. This is why I'm dressing black like this. I have to dress black. My room is black. This is why I uh, prohibited you to come. I closed my door so that you cannot see my transforming. I'm in a very occult um, covenant in Paris. And what is your task, ma'am? I should um, sacrifice you. Why? You're annoying. Like, you're annoying this, this city. You're, through your prayer, ever since you brought this church here, you're annoying this, them. <laughs> she realized that the prayer of the righteous is very powerful. She said they closed the door until 2 um, a.m. She fought. She said, I'm not coming out of this room until my daughter is freed. Either we, we die together. If you should die, I will, we will die together, but we come out of here when you're delivered. The woman was really proud. She fought the whole evening. The man came back. Everyone came back. No, she did not open the door. She knew they would destroy the atmosphere. They will not realize what's going on. There's uh, certain things you cannot share with everyone. There are certain fights you cannot share with everyone. And her daughter was delivered. I mean delivered. I realized the daughter, I came to Paris, she preached, wow. Diana was, wow. You see, a daughter with a huge 
uh, destiny. What does the enemy do through friends, through uh, people they know? She brings them to witchcraft. When you're not taking care here in Germany, your children will serve Satan. When we don't take care, when we uh, uh, let go and all go to in front of the TV so that we have free time, we just send people, uh, children in front of the TV. We let them know. Pray with your children. My daughters need to start fasting. I started, you will fast. You will pray. It, it is our task. We will pray. We pray at home. Joe. Uh, brings the word. Shiloh um, must say something in word. Everyone needs to take uh, care, uh, par participate. I'm sorry. We watch your children. Janice. <laughs> we are watching you. Big brother is watching. Parents, watch your children. They say you're controlling me. Yes, it's a good control. Pa that are you controlling? Yes, it's a good control. Bring your WhatsApp. I need you watch your WhatsApp. What are all your friends? Yes. Until they're 20, even when they're 20, bring the WhatsApp here. Daddy, privacy. Here in my house, there is no privacy. <laughs> if you want to have privacy, rent a, an apartment. But not in my house. There is no privacy as long as you are in my house. I will let you free the day a, a man comes and gives me the bride price. Okay, my bride price, you can go. <laughs> as long as I give you pocket money and everything, you're here. I control everything. When someone wants that, I do not control it. He needs to bring me the bright price and then you can go. But I will not get let go that easily. Amen? Yes. Why? Because often our children start watching or receiving pornos because other children are watching and sending. Other, our children are starting... Uh, receiving horror movies on the phone. We need to control. There are apps where you can allow all the things that children can have on the phone and the other things you can reject. When my children want to install an app, I see it. I say, how much is it? Nix, nothing, okay. So, <laughs> no. Listen. I'm not prohibiting just anything. No, I'm doing a pedagogy thing. I'm, I'm speaking to them. You need to tell the, ch the children the world is dark and evil. You, you draw the world and you draw the kingdom of God and show the children. Explain both. When you move this way, even the, the two-year-old, explain it to him. Don't think he's a child. Say, child, look. Here's Satan. Here's Jesus. Dad is Jesus. Mom is Jesus. Here. Light and darkness. What is with uncle? It's a good question. Uncle does not have Jesus. It's here. But we love him. And pray that he comes to Jesus. Amen. Children need to know this. We're in the kingdom of the light. When we reject, the, neglect this, we will have eyes just to cry. And cry a lot. Because at one point they will go into occultism and satanism work and witchcraft. In Africa, you can you receive a banana and you eat it, you eat witchcraft. I don't know how it is here or in Eastern Europe, but witchcraft, you take something, you speak and you give it to you, you eat and you have witchcraft. And what do they do at night? They come, you hear how they're calling you. You hear voices. Paul, Paul, when you say yes, you're gone. You start walking in a straw. This is how they activate witchcraft. Or well, they come, they give you something to eat, you're eating in the night all the time. Or they have sexuality in dreams with you. They, they're preparing your soul for witchcraft and your spirit. Amen. They make your character so that your character is stinking, so that everyone just says you're evil. This is witchcraft. We want to um, prevent having witchcraft into church. We want to fight against witchcraft. We want to to, to destroy the works, the, the seeds of the the, uh, the church. And we just want to throw it out of the church. When they come into church, they bring uh, adultery. When they come into church, they bring uh, tired, you being tired. When they come, 
they they can also um, can curse the church from outside. They don't have to be here, but they can do it from outside. This is what happened in South Africa, where the witches fasted, and all churches were cursed in the city. They can do this, especially when they realize that your house is annoying, that the church has so much power and fire. What are you doing? They send f curses through to the church, but the, the angels of the Lord are uh, around this church to prevent that these uh, fiery arrows are reaching you. The, uh, the angels of God are around your house, but the more you pray, the more power they have. Amen. When you don't pray, when you don't do anything with the Lord, when you think I'm a Christian, that's enough, they will get you. Amen. Uh, equip yourself. Paul said in Ephesians chapter 6 that we should equip ourselves. He says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 6 that the weapons of our fights are not in the flesh. We need to equip ourselves. And they, because there will be those uh, evil things. And then we need to equip ourselves against the fiery arrows of the enemy. When someone is sick, we will say, oh, it's a natural sickness. We, we will pray for healing, but we, we don't want to have any demonic sicknesses. Many cancers are demonic can, um, sicknesses. Many, um, uh, when you're lame or when you have uh, other intest internal problems are, uh, or in a psych, uh, psychic problems, they're all demonic sicknesses. There are many. Many like uh, divorces, deaths, accidents you could prevent if you had these teachings. You will know the truth, the no will set you free. Can we stand up in the presence of the Lord? We want to pray against the work of uh, witchcraft. Before we pray, when you have some knowledge, some insights um, concerning the seeds of witchcraft, when in the family there was a lot of witchcraft with esoteric, with satanism, you saw in your family there were many Freemasons. Freemason has also to do a lot to do with witchcraft. I want that we take five minutes where you place all of this in front of the Lord and say, Lord, forgive me, forgive us. Um, that we had to do with esoteric, with occultism, with all kinds of evil things. Father, forgive also my mother, my father, <coughs> my grandfather, great-grandfather, everyone in the family who had to do with witchcraft, occultism, satanism. Lord, forgive us. Let us raise our voices. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us say, Lord, forgive us. Let us say, Lord, I don't want to um, set, speak good or uh, everything we had, to, everything bad things, where we played with pandal, with esoteric, with satanism, or, or where we um, had all ca kinds of curses, with, where we opened the doors for them. Lord, forgive us that we opened the doors through doubts, through lack of knowledge. Oops. That the church was destroyed through lack of knowledge that the words of Satanism, of witchcraft, moved in church out of lack of knowledge. That our marriage had problems through witchcraft out of lack of knowledge. Uh, that there were fights in the family and, and attacks uh, uh, against one another through witchcraft. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. Father, come and help us. Pray, pray. Say, Lord, I we need your help. We need your help. We, we uh, regret, we regret that we had lack of knowledge. We regret, we we repent, we repent, Lord, that manipulation and control and lies and uh, alluring in uh, was in our family. Oh, Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Pray. Say, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy in me. Have mercy in my family. Have mercy in me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that you have 
that you're freeing us. I thank you that the works of witchcraft are uh, being made known and revealed in my house, in my family, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, equip me against the works of witchcraft. Equip myself, equip my house, my family against the works of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. We need the equipment. We need the equipment. We need your equipment. Give us the gift of discerning spirits. Give us knowledge, Father. Knowledge, Father, because you say in your word, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Give us the knowledge, Father, in the name of Jesus. If you have uh, insight about the seeds of the witchcraft in your family, start rejecting them. Say, Father, I reject any inherited witchcraft, any passive, active, or unconscious or conscious witchcraft. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. I reject, it. I reject the name of Jesus. I reject the name of Jesus. I reject the name of Jesus. Every word of witchcraft, every seed of witchcraft, any uh, occult seed, any manipulated seed, any manipulation work, any control of witchcraft. I reject this. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray against it. Pray against it. Pray against it. Pray against it. Any work of witchcraft that are speaking against my life, I come against you. I separate myself from you. I separate myself from any from any connection, from any occult connection, from any satanic connection. I separate myself. I separate myself from any inheritance, from any seed of the house of my father. In the name of Jesus, from any uh, witchcraft uh, sickness or any um, for any blockage or being lame, I separate myself. I bring them in front of the judgment of God. I bring any witchcraft work in front of the the throne of God or paralysis, any paralysis. Pray, pray. Any power that is calling my name into any should fall and die. Any might of Satan should fall and die. Any any witchcraft should die in my life. Any ma power in my life of any power of witchcraft and the strength of witchcraft, any blockage of witchcraft should die. Should die. Should die. Any satanic program. Any satanic program against my life. I come against you. In the name of Jesus, I destroy your works. I destroy your plans. I destroy your might through the blood of the Lamb. Through the blood of the Lamb. Through the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any operation or surgery of witchcraft in my life. In the name of Jesus, I, I make. I I make you not happen. Any operation or surgery of the witchcraft against my um, destiny or my family, I make you. Uh, I decline, decline you. Any operation of witchcraft, oh Lord, let your might uh, destroy them and make them undone in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any operation of witchcraft against my uh, progressing, Lord. In the name of Jesus, make uh, destroy them, make them uh, null and nothing. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray that every bless every blessing that were captivated in the grave, that in the name of Jesus, they could, should come out of the grave. My blessings, my destiny, they come out of the grave, out of the grave of Satan. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I call blessing over my house. I call blessing over my marriage. I call blessing over my um, over my relatives and over my family in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
any foundations of witchcraft in my life should be destroyed, should be broken, should be broken. Any foundation of witchcraft in my marriage, in my family, in my children, in my life shall catch fire and be broken and be broken. Pray, pray, destroy them, break them. Break them, break them, break the foundations of witchcraft. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Father, every law of witchcraft that were written against my life, I destroy these laws. I burn them in the name of Jesus through the fire of God. Through the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray, pray. Any law of witches, any foundation of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Father. Any curse of bitterness. Any curse of wrath. Any curse of hatred against my life shall be destroyed. Shall be destroyed. Any curse of destruction in my life. Any curse of poverty in my life. Any curse of sickness in my life. Any curse of separation in my marriage shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Destroy them, destroy, pray, pray and destroy them. Destroy them, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. You will not be sick, you will not be sick. This for before I had programmed, <coughs> sickness will be destroyed. This poverty will leave your family, your life. Depression should go out, depression, bipolarity, schizophrenia. All sicknesses, come out, come out, 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 out. Come out, 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 out. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, 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 go. Depression, uh, out of hate, witchcraft, schizophrenic, all sicknesses. Pack your things and go, 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 go. Go, let go, let go in the name of Jesus. Let go in the name of Jesus. Let go in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft come out! 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 All works of witchcraft must leave you. The works of witchcraft must leave you. All inherited sicknesses, all inherited sicknesses, all skin diseases, lung diseases, uh, diseases of, of other parts, any any sickness that has to do with migraine, uh, stomach pain, in the name of Jesus, come out, come out, pray, pray, they must go out, they must go out. Oh, come out of the mouth, come out now. Through the fire, 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 through the fire. Let go and leave. 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 Go. Again, any foundation of witchcraft in my life will be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Any foundation of witchcraft in my house, in my marriage, in my family, in my destiny, in my ministry, a burning down now, a burning down. Any witchcraft of foundation, pray, pray. Any foundation of witchcraft, the sick, they bring sickness, they bring uh, raw catches or being lame, let go. Let go leave, 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 let go leave through the fire, through the fire. Father, in the name of Jesus, any net of witchcraft where my life was captivated 
where my finances were captivated, where my marriage was captivated, where my health was captivated. In the name of Jesus, I tear them, I tear them, we tear them, 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 tear them. In the name of Jesus, pray, pray, pray. They must be torn. Any, any women, place your hand in the womb. Father, in the name of Jesus, any spirit of unfruitfulness in my life, in my children, in my family, in the name of Jesus, I break any covenant of unfruitfulness and I step out of it. My children, my descendants, will not be unfruitful. They will be fruitful. I command the spirit of unfruitfulness come out of my stomach, come out of my womb, come out, 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 out. Unfruitfulness uh, or barrenness in all areas of my life, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Spirit of uh, not having a marriage, spirit of uh, barrenness, spirit of not having a, a, a husband, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. You can be married, but you're not enjoying marriage because the spirit of not being married is there. You can be married, you're not enjoying marriage because in spirit you were um, given to some other spirit of witchcraft. You can be married, but since you were already in a relationship with someone who is in marriage, who is in witchcraft, he's still controlling you in your marriage. So pray with me, Father. All of old relationships in which I were that blocked my life in the name of Jesus, I step out of every relationship, out of every spiritual marriages. I divorce myself from every spiritual marriage in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I step out of it. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 By a shaker in the name of Jesus. 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 Father. In the name of Jesus. All communications of witchcraft against my life, I sent uh, confusion and I, I uh, paralyzed any communication in the name of Jesus. Father, hit beat every witch that's speaking against my life again, with blindness, with deafness in the name of Jesus. They will not curse me anymore. They will not see me anymore in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Come out, come out, come out. Let go in the name of Jesus. 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 Satan, pack your thing, pack your works. Satan, pack all your works. Satan, pack all your deeds. Satan, pack all your works. Satan, let go in the name of Jesus. Come out of my family. Come out, out, out of the family of my brother and my sister in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, any witchcraft transport system that is used against my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will be destroyed. It will be destroyed. It will be destroyed. No evil transport system will enter into my life or be used in the name of Jesus. Altars that are working against me Father, send your fire against them in the name of Jesus. She, send your fire against any evil altars, against any altars of witchcraft, against any altars of sorcery, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I am free from any works of witchcraft. I am free from any altars of witchcraft. I am free from any programs of witchcraft. I am free from any curses of witchcraft. I am free from any seeds of witchcraft. Place your hand on your stomach. Father, Father, 
all hidden seeds of witchcraft in me, in my life, must go, go out now. Out of my mouth. Out of my mouth. Any works of witchcraft, come out now. Come out now. Come out now. I, I puke you out. Come out. Works of witchcraft. Seeds of witchcraft. Come out. One after the other. One after the other. Come out now. 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 Seeds of witchcraft. Works of witchcraft. Let go. Let go now. Let go now. Go, 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 go. It is written. The Son of God came to destroy the works of Satan. Seeds of witchcraft. Works of witchcraft. Come out. Come out. Come out of the mouth. Come out of the stomach. Come out of the life. Come out now. Through the fire. Through fire. Through fire. Through fire. Through fire. Through fire. Come out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any seed. Conscious or unconscious. Step out of my life. Step out of my body. Step out of my destiny. I sent you unto the feet of Jesus Christ. You have nothing to do in my life. You have nothing to do with me anymore. There is no community anymore. There is no marriage covenant anymore. There is no covenant anymore. No financial covenant. Step out of my life. Step out of my health. Step out of my body. Let go. Let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of me. Let go of me. Go, 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 go. In the name of Jesus. Raise your hands high. I will pray now. Wherever witchcraft is active, God will deliver you. Wherever in your life where witchcraft is active, when you're doing witchcraft actively and consciously, you should know the works of witchcraft will destroy your life. When you're doing witchcraft unconsciously, you are allowed to let go of them and say, Lord, I'm not letting myself be used. My tongue is not for cursing. My tongue is not for saying bad words. My tongue was given to me to bless, to bless. I will bless my siblings, uh, my, my, uh, my marriage partner. I will not curse them anymore. I will not say bad things. I will bless them in the name of Jesus. I will not curse myself. I will not curse myself and my own life and my children anymore. I will not curse my family anymore. I will bless them. Because when I curse, when I say evil words, I will, I'm will. i doing witchcraft. When I'm rebellious, I work witchcraft. I do witchcraft. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be rebellious. I don't want to be in wrath. I don't want to be without trust. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I reject this. I reject this. To be in the service of Satan. I reject to be in the service of Satan. In the name of Jesus. Raise your hands. I thank you, Father, that you're my delivering my brother and sister right now. The power of God will come over you right now, over your life. And er any spirit, any seed, any work of witchcraft will start manifesting. It can be that you will feel dizzy or that you've experienced tiredness or that all of a sudden you want to scream or to cough or do movements or, or the stomach is hurting. The works of witchcraft are moving and go out. Father, in the name of Jesus, any works of witchcraft should leave my sister right now, any seed of witchcraft, also my brother, any blockage, any control, any luring in, any... Uh, manipulation of witchcraft. Lord, it is written, you appeared to destroy the works of Satan. Any works of witchcraft in this place, pack your things and leave. Let go now. Through the fire, through the fire of the Spirit, through the fire of the Spirit, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Let her go and go. Leave, 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 leave. Let go and leave. Pack your things, pack your things, pack your things. Come out. I open the door of the of the throat in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the door is open. Door is open. 
The door is open. I give you till three. They must leave you. One, two, three. Come out. Take your things and go, go. Come in her nights and you're blocking her nights. You're blocking your dreams. You're blocking your health. You have no power anymore. You're enthroned. You're enthroned. Come out of the stomach. Come out of the stomach. Come out of the stomach. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. See those witchcraft. Go, go, go. Let go, let go. Wherever you're hiding, you have no possibility here anymore. You have no space here anymore. In the name of Jesus. Pack your works. Pack your seats. Go. Go out of the body of, of my brother and sister. Let go in the name of Jesus Christ. Let go in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you that you're delivering our brothers and sisters. Let go in the name of Jesus. Let go in the name of Jesus. Let go now. Go. This daughter Abraham's is allowed to live. She's allowed to enjoy life. She's allowed to experience freedom. Any bondage since her childhood is broken, any bondage in family that's coming out of the witchcraft circles of the family, the curses that are over your life, you're carrying so many so heavy burdens, and the Lord is taking away these burdens. The Lord is taking away the burdens. Be free. Be free. You are allowed to get step out of here without these burdens. Come out. I open the door. Father, all out, out of all of them out, all works of witchcraft, they have your life under control, all pain they, they brought to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You come out now, pack your works and seeds, go! Serpent in the womb, come out. You serpent in the womb, come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out, come out. Serpent in, in the womb. Toby, come, there is a snake in the womb. It must, it must go out. The serpent and the snake must go out. The serpent in the womb must go out. You place your hand in the womb, Father, in the name of Jesus. It put her under, under blood of land, and Toby, you uh, proclaim. Any attack of witchcraft, come out, come out. All of you out. Pack your works. You're not allowed to control her life anymore. You're not allowed to hold your life under control anymore. Father. Fire, fire. Over the witch of witchcraft. Father, make her free, make her free, make her free. Come out. You drink the blood of the Lamb, and the works of witchcraft are leaving you right now in the name of Jesus. The door is open, and they come out. They're letting go, they're letting go. 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 Fire, fire. You step out of the covenant of witchcraft. You step out of any covenant of witchcraft. Victory. I give you two. One, two, three. Out now. Out now. Come out. Every work of the serpent, every work of the of witchcraft, Father, we separate her from her tribe, Father. From uh, we separate her from the seed of her mother and her father, from every inheritance, every inheritance of witchcraft is killed. The inheritance is killed in the, in the name of Jesus is killed is killed in the name of Jesus Christ pray for her pray together for her pray for her belly I am I lay them under your blood, Jesus. Pray for her and command in, in authority, Father, every work of Satan, of, of witchcraft, come out. Come out. Come out. You are not allowed to destroy her future or her destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Let go. Let go. Let go and go. Take your depression. Take your, take your 
force over her life. Let her go. Let her go. Father, every curse over her life, every curse over her life are broken. The curses are broken. The curses in the childhood are broken. By the blood of Jesus, we lay her and her destiny under the blood of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Receive the fire. Receive the fire of God. Receive the holy fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. Fire, fire. Against every control, manipulation of witchcraft, the fire has to burn. The fire will burn and will destroy in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out, 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 out. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go, let her life, let her life. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Take your works, take your works. Every satanic force, every satanic force is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed. Every satanic force is destroyed. Come, all of you come out, all of you come out, all of you come out, all of you come out. Pray with force, pray with power and might. We destroy every work of, of Satan, every influence of Satan, Father. In her dreams, Father, we destroy it in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, in the name, in the name of Jesus, your descendants are free. Your family is free in the name of Jesus. Let let her go, go, let let go, let go. Take your works and leave her. She's a child of God, bought by the blood of Jesus. You can no longer control her life. You can no longer control her life in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every works of Satan, every curses. We break those curses. We destroy those curses over her life, over her descendants, over her marriage, over her children. We, broke every, we break every curse. And by the blood of Jesus, you are allowed to be healthy. You will be healthy. You stay, we remain every curse of disease against your destiny, against your life. We come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy them. We destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy them. We destroy them. We destroy them. Every wrong foundation, every old foundation of Satan in your life and in your family are destroyed in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, lift your, be lifted up. Build this family. Build this, this woman. Build this foundation and strengthen her. Give her your strength. Give, you, give, give her your strength. Give her your strength. Make your, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Destroy every force of Satan in her. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you are not allowed to control her. You are not allowed to control her destiny. Father, we break every chain. We break every connection, every soulish connection uh, with her family. We proclaim, Satan, you have no power. You have no control. You have no might over her life. You have no might over her life. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out. Okay, go, 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 go. I see you. Go, 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 go. Let her go and go. Go. Let her life, let her life go. Let her family go. Let her soul. Let her go. Every soulish connection, every connection of witchcraft is destroyed. Every wit connection is with witchcraft is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Be blessed. Pray, pray, pray. Remain praying. Don't stop praying. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. 
There's something big that, that will come out now. It has to come up. And the umbil umbilical line cord is destroyed with her mother in the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on this area. Every connection with the umbilical cord. We break it. We break it. We break it. The connection in the family is destroyed. Come out now. Come out now. There will be pain. There will be pain, but they come out. They will come out. They come out. They come out. Does anyone have pain right now? Or does anyone feel something happening in his body? Let us pray for her. Where do you feel it in your in your legs? Something is moving? Okay. The marrying spirits. Lay your hand on the on your belly. Every sexual ma marine spirit. In the name of Jesus, I command you come up and go out. We we separate it from every marine, from every sea, from every witchcraft of Satan. In the name of Jesus, come out now. Come out. Let go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Come out of her mouth and go. Serene spirit, come out of her belly. Come out. Come out. By by a scream, by a scream you will come out. By a scream you come out. Father, we destroy every works of Satan. We destroy every seed of the family. We destroy every connection with the marine spirits. We destroy the connection with the marine spirits and covenants. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray against it. Pray for her, pray for her. You have the power to pray for her. Use the power of God. Authority, Father. Pray, pray for her, pray for her. Do you feel anything? Father, in the name of Jesus, every work of Satan, every we destroy it in the name of Jesus. We proclaim that her legs will be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood, uh, by the power of the of the spirit, every work of Satan will be destroyed, and every satanic covenant and force is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Let her go. Let her go and go. Let her go and go. Let her go and go. Come out. Come out. Take your words. Take your stuff. And it's written that every seed that has not planted is not planted by God has to come out. She's allowed to be healthy. Come out now. I command her legs can be restored and your body will be restored and I command it in the name of Jesus Christ Father, every works of witchcraft that she entered into, 
We come against those works, and we command those works to leave her and her legs. Works of witchcraft come out of her, come out of her. Your spirit of witchcraft, we come against your, your works and we destroy them in the name of Jesus. We separate her legs from this works and her foot, food, feet from this works in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go. Every works of witchcraft are broken. Every covenant of witchcraft is broken. Every covenant with witchcraft is broken. Be free. Be free. Be free. You move and you come out of her. You move and you come out of her. You move and you come out of her. By the blood of Jesus. 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 Because it is written, we have overcome by the blood of Jesus and by, the, by, our, by his blood and by our testimony. We proclaim the blood of Jesus. Stop proclaiming the blood of Jesus. Pray, pray. Keep praying. God is moving. God is moving. Spirit of death. Spirit of death, come out. Spirit of death, come out. Come out. We break the works of death. Because Jesus is resurrected so that you can live. And who has, and who has received life will have life in fullness. One, two, three. The spirit of death come out. Move your, lay your hand there, it, it will come out. Spirit of death come out, come out, come out in the name of Jesus, come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. You are the that Jesus has won the victory. That's why there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. He defeated you. I separate you from every net of witchcraft. It is broken. Come out now. Every net of witchcraft in this place is destroyed. Every net of witchcraft in this place is destroyed. Every net of witchcraft 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 is destroyed of Satanism. Every net, every net of occultism is destroyed, is destroyed, is destroyed. Come out, come out. Your belly, there are three spirits in your belly, in your stomach. They have to go, they have to leave you. Three satanic works have to leave your stomach. Come out. Every satanic net is destroyed. Every net of the spider is destroyed. Every demonic net is destroyed. By the blood of Jesus. 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 Come out of every satanic net. Every satanic net. Come out of it, 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 come out of every satanic net. Every satanic net is destroyed. Every occult net, occultic net is destroyed in your family. Of the family is destroyed. Every satanic net is destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is influencing your, your um, body, your soul, and your spirit that comes out of demonic source has to leave you. And they come out now in, your, in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. Come out of it. 
Every satanic net, every satanic net is destroyed of your region and of your family. Every net of witchcraft is destroyed. We come against every net in this place, every net of witchcraft in this place. Come out. Every satanic net in your life, every satanic work of your life, every demonic work, we come against it in the name of Jesus. We come against it. We come against every demonic work. We destroy, we destroy, we destroy, we destroy, we destroy in your life, in your family. We proclaim freedom. We proclaim freedom. We proclaim freedom. Be free from every covenant, from every satanic covenant, from every satanic net. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Be free of every um, hurt, of every hurt in your childhood, every blockage in your childhood. Give him inner healing, every injury. Give him inner healing. Give him the strength to, to destroy every work of Satan in his life. Say with me, every depression, every depression, every depressive status or situation we would have had in the in the past, in the name of Jesus will not will no will not come ag again and come back. And I lay down shame and fear. And I lay down every fear of Satan, every word of Satan that he is using against me. I'm a child of God. I stand under the blood of Jesus. I stand under the blood of Jesus. Be free. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Every satanic net is broken. Break it. Break it. Break the net of witchcraft. Break it. Lay your hand, Toby, on her back. It's not over yet. It's just starting. Say, I go out of here with freedom in the name of Jesus. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to be free from every injury, Father. I want to be from every blockage, Father. In the name of Jesus, I want to be free from every rejection, Father. Oh, Father, every satanic, every works against my life, Father, they have to leave me in the name of Jesus. They have to leave me in the name of Jesus. Come out of my future. Come out of my destiny. Come out of my destiny. Come out of my life. Come out of my children. Every spirit of depression out of witchcraft come out of my life in the name of Jesus. Go, go, go. Every spirit that is controlling my life, that is controlling my, my marriage and my children, come out now. Come out now. Let go. 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 Every spirit that is that is controlling my destiny, start praying, start praying, start praying. In the name of Jesus. Every works of witchcraft, every attack of witchcraft against your thoughts and against your soul and against your emotions, we come against it in the name of Jesus, but with fire, with fire, with fire, with fire, in the name of Jesus. With fire, we destroy, we destroy the works of Satan, we destroy the works of witchcraft. Come out now, come out now, come out now. Let his, let his thoughts go. You don't have any part in him any longer in his thoughts, in the name of Jesus. Father, we, we root him out of every work of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy them, we destroy them, we destroy them, we destroy them, we destroy them. We destroy the roots of witchcraft. We 
approved every every witchcraft. Every control of Satan in your life is broken. Every works of Satan and every influence and control of Satan of your destiny and of your health is broken. And over your is broken over your destiny in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. She has to be free from every bondage. Every net in her belly. Every curses are broken, are broken, are broken. Come out now. Every word of Satan that is moving in your house and in your marriage and your family, we destroy them in the name of Jesus. We destroy them in the name of Jesus. We destroy the works of witchcraft. We lay them in fire. 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 You, your spirit of control, come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Let. Come out. Take your words, take your words, take your seat. We don't allow the, the works of witchcraft to be alive. We destroy them. We destroy them. We destroy them. We destroy them. We uproot them in your life. Everything has to come out. The door is open. The door is open. You are under the blood of Jesus. Nothing shall remain. Nothing shall remain. You, you drink the blood of Jesus. You drink, drink the blood of Jesus. The, the tongue of spirit comes out. He has to leave you. He has to leave you. There's a serpent coming out of you. You cannot no longer influence your destiny. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are defeated. You are defeated by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Everything it is written that um, who is in Christ is a new creation. Um, you have no longer force, you have no power in the name of Jesus Christ. You are, uh, pray, pray, keep praying. In the blood, there is power, power, wonderful power in the blood of Jesus alone. There is blood, might, might, wonderful might in the blood, in the blood. There is might, might, wonderful might in the blood of He alone. There is strength, strength, wonderful. In the blood, there is strength, strength, wonderful strength. In the blood of Jesus Christ alone, there is victory, victory, wonderful victory. In the blood, in the blood, there is victory, victory, wonderful victory. In the blood of Jesus Christ alone. Hallelujah. Every sign of witchcraft, every influence of witchcraft, every control of witchcraft over my life, 
shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. I reject every influence of witchcraft in my life, in my health, in my family, every influence of witchcraft in my destiny, in my family, I reject it. Every tongue of witchcraft in my family has to be destroyed, has to be destroyed, has to be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Satan, you don't have any part in me because I am bought, I am saved, I am by the blood of Jesus. I am free to serve the Lord. I am free to do the works of God. Satan, I reject to deserve you. I reject your thoughts, your works, your plans, your programs, because I'm a child of God. I am saved. I am bought. I am saved by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Pray. Keep praying. Pray, 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 pray. Chains, lose the 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 chains. In the name of Jesus, every seed of witchcraft in your family comes out, come out, come out. Every seed of witchcraft, every influence of witchcraft, come out of your life, come out of your life, come out of your soul. Fire, fire, fire in this room, fire in this room, fire in this room, fire in this room. Every influence over your mother in your life come out. Every witchcraft influence come out of you. Go out. Go out. Go out. Every influence of witchcraft come out. Every chain of witchcraft is broken and a connection is broken. Every work of witchcraft is broken, are broken. Come out, come out, come out. Let her go and go. Let her go and go. In the name of Jesus, every works of witchcraft are destroyed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Go, let go. Let go. Every satanic work, everything that is in the valley comes out now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Lay your hand on the unbiblical court. Everything that comes out of her tribe, his tribe, we destroy every chain of this family. We destroy every influence. The satanic influence of, of his of his brothers and father, um, mother, every connection with parents that brings evil influences are destroyed. Witchcraft, the spirit of witchcraft in the family come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. We destroy them. Because my brother is a child of God and he's bought by the blood of Jesus. Every control of witchcraft, every manipulation of witchcraft and tongue of witchcraft, every thoughts of witchcraft in his destiny and his descendants are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Are destroyed. The spirit of witchcraft come out of his tongue. Come out of his tongue. Come out of his tongue. Come out of his ears. Come out of his thoughts. Come out of his eyes. Let go. Let go and go, let go and go, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are exposed, you have no longer part in him. Every witchcraft out of his family, out, out. By the fire, 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 by the fire. By the fire, by the fire. Take your works and let him go. Take your works and let him go in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 
Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Every works of witchcraft in this place, I command you, go out. Every seed of witchcraft, every chain of witchcraft, every disease of witchcraft, every tiredness, every attack of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. If you stand under the attack of witchcraft, something will come out of you. The works of witchcraft have to leave you, have to leave your family, have to leave your destiny. Every works of witchcraft, every influence of witchcraft, come out, come out, come out, come out. Every disease, in the name of Jesus. He is moving, he is moving, he is moving. Come out, come out, come out and let go. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Come out, come out, come out. Come out. You stand under the blood of Jesus. You stand under the fire of God. You stand under the fire of God. You stand under the fire of God. Let's go. By the fire, by the fire. By the fire, by the fire. Every, every witchcraft is destroyed. Every work of witchcraft is destroyed. Take your, take your works and go. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Every works of witchcraft. Pray, pray with power, pray with Left, left ear, left ear. He hides there. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out. In the left ear, in the left ear. One, two, three, out. Fire in the ears, fire in the ears, fire in the ears, fire in the ears. Fire. He comes out, he comes out, he comes out. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. He's in the left ear. I will blow into the left ear. Pray, 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 pray. A 
I see a strong connection. Are you baptized? Are you baptized in water? You have to pray every connection of with the serpent that is coming out of our bloodline or in that is connecting us with the, our family it has to be broken. Lose yourself from three different idols. We separate us from Allah, from the spirit of Islam, from every prayer of the Islam, of every surat, every surat in the name of Jesus, of Quran, in the name of Jesus, every baptism into Islam, in the name of Jesus, keep praying, the spirit of Islam will manifest itself, and the death of witchcraft and Islam we destroy the name of Jesus Christ of the, of the false sacrifice ever works of Satan and Antichrist come out now come out now come out spirit of Islam come out come out spirit of Islam come out of Antichrist we, we pray we, we destroy your works we destroy the witchcraft we destroy It has to leave you, it has to leave you. Does anyone manifest right now? Does anyone manifest right now? Go. Go to Gabriel. We pray with force with for Gabriel. Pray, pray. Pray. Lay your hands on your belly. Come out now. Come out now. Push him and stick it out. Pray, pray, the spirit who is controlling your soul and your souls and soul and your emotions will be free. Every depressed thought, every spirit of depression, every spirit that comes against your psyche, let go of your stomach, let go of your stomach and come out, come out, come out in the name of Jesus, come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Self-hatred come come out. Hatred comes out. Come out. Come out. Hatred comes out. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
We are under the power of God. Is there something moving? The pains are gone. We destroy the unbiblical cord with your family. We separate you from the spirit of witchcraft and from the works of the family and from the bloodline of your family. We destroy every curse. We destroy every curse. We destroy every connection to your soul. No matter to whom, every evil soul connections are destroyed. Every every witchcraft connections are destroyed. Let go. Look at me. Let go of him and go. Let him go. Every rebellion comes out. Spirit of rebellion comes out. Spirit of rebellion come out. Who is laughing right now? It's a human spirit. Come out and go. Come out and go in the name of Jesus. Come out and go in the name of Jesus. Come out and go. Receive fire 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 and go. By the blood of fire. By the blood of fire. By the fire, 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 by fire, by fire, 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 fire. Come out now. Let go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. You stand under the fire of God. You stand under the fire of the Holy Spirit. You stand under the fire of the Holy Spirit. You stand under the fire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let go. Let go. Let go. He has, you have to look at his eyes. You see the Spirit through his eyes and attack him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That every work of, of Satan is, are destroyed. Every covenants, covenants are destroyed. The access is open. You come out. You come out. You all. You come out. In the name of Jesus, you come out because Jesus has won the victory. Jesus has won the victory. Jesus has won the victory. Jesus is the truth. He is the winner. We come against every lie of Satan. In the name of Jesus, you come out. 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 Come out. Come out. Come out. All of you come out. All of you come out. Works of witchcraft. Leave everyone here. You are defeated by the blood of Jesus. Jeder 
ever control and manipulation against your life. Everything you have eaten and drank comes out of your soul, comes out of your soul. Every beverage of witchcraft, every nutrition of witchcraft, every seed of witchcraft are destroyed, are destroyed, are destroyed, are destroyed, are destroyed, are destroyed by the blood, by the blood. Say, I drink the blood of Jesus. And because I drink it, everything has to leave me. I drink the blood of Jesus. Proclaim, I drink the blood of Jesus. Breakthrough is there. Honor to God. 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 Honor to Jesus. Honor to Jesus. Hallelujah. We will end. Those can then you can go home and those who need prayer we can remain praying for them. And then you can go home. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the freedom, for breakthrough. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's the hand of the mighty God. This is the finger of God. It means it's the finger of God. When the witcher and witches saw how God was moving through the hand of God, they had to say, this is the finger of God, and this is why we sing, Hallelujah, Amen, this the Lord, it's the finger of God, it's the finger of God, it means it's the finger of God, 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 it's the finger of God. 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 It's the finger of God.
it. It's a figure of God. delivers us. You are the one who heals us. You are the one who casts out demons, not we.